live is on. All right, let's go. F. F this. F this. F this. Fuck this, Mr. White. Well, 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 welcome everybody to another lovely episode of F this. Number episode 16. 16. We made it to 16. Right. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet 16. Right? On Friday, On Friday the 13th. 13. Uh-oh. It was 2020. Oh. Oof. 2020. We've made it to November 13th. We made it to November 13th, 2020. Yeah. It sounds That's like right. a, it sounds like a special thing. Oh, definitely. All right. So, welcome to uh, this lovely episode. I am Duff. Shante. Emilio. Malcolm. That's right. <laughs> and Sarah. Who is this? Sarah. I'm here. Sarah. <laughs> So are we going to have to do that thing that we normally do when Sarah's on, where everybody has to shut the fuck up? No, hold on. I think she might have sorted her sound issues. You sorted your shit? You got your shit together? No, I, like, I'm trying to use my phone, so I'm like trying to set it up right now. Ah, okay. All right, all right. Well, that's cool. Okay, well, I guess in the meantime, let's move go around the table and do our thing. All right, so uh, how the fuck are you? How's everybody? How's everybody doing? Good. Not okay. okay. Surviving. Doing all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how's how's life going? How's how's life treating you? Yeah. How's it how's it going? How's it going in the in the, in the lovely world of, of F this out there? I'm gonna put that to the audience. How's everybody doing out there in in Facebook? Out there. In the interweb land. <laughs> Interwebs. All all one of you. Hey, how all, are you doing tonight? Few of you. Uh, <laughs> few of you. Okay. I was really hoping we could get a few of them. It'll go. I feel like everyone, everybody waits for like what we say at 9.30. Yeah. And they're like, it's 9.30, they're not here, fuck it. And then they take off. Everyone shows up around like 11. They show up, yeah, after they've had a few drinks and they're like, all right, we had fun yeah. with our actual friends. Let's go see what our internet friends are doing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Oh, um, pre-game right Everyone now. shows up yeah. around 9.30. It's yeah. like it's like it's like it's like it's exactly what that Our is. Tender, I mean. They're pre gaming for for f this. It's like what we do when we go to the bar. You they're know, tailgating. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah. T- they're they're tailgating before an f this episode. I mean, I would hope that's what they're doing. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's what it is because it's like probably I think pre COVID we have people you know coming in around eleven thirty or twelve, and it's like now with COVID, it's like. 10 30 11 yeah it's like people sure it's still do pregame but then it's like they don't go out as often right, right? or so go out as long you're staying yeah you're, yeah you're staying in because most places aren't open as late as they used to be exactly that's, true. So that's right yeah. they're like shutting their doors and kicking everybody out yeah it's, it's like all right 10 p.m last call <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on a saturday night right <laughs> It was like Denny's is shutting down at 10 p.m. Go the fuck home, guys. Oh, man. Lightweight. 24 hour diner. Right. right. Yeah. I, I get why why the one in town is like, like that now, but I mean, like, it's like that in every other Denny's now, not just here. No, yeah. They're not 24 7 anymore. No. Dang. You can't yeah. I didn't no more that. No more post game no. pancakes no. and no. eggs while you're can sloppy you drunk. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, good. You can, turn yeah, it can see you. you can even turn it up a little more if you want. Hey. You can hear Sarah tonight. Some of my phone. You can screw yourself up just slightly if you like. I don't, I, I don't think I can. What? Because I'm on my phone. What? Just kidding. I get it. What type of headset, what? headset, are, you, what headset what? are you using? What are you saying? Yeah. Level over. Level level oh. i think if you had like a bose headset or something like that you wouldn't really have sound issues. yeah but get a bose get a, oh, get a, bose. Get a jbs <laughs> get a... let me shit a gold brick <laughs> get yes. beat. A level one okay. that's fine as long as long as you're not cutting out while we're talking so that yeah. we can we can now 
properly talk over you. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! We'll make it towards the anyway. Let's give you some more volume. It sounded like they were in the bathroom. Laugh, laughter coming from the bathroom? Yeah, like it was in a very enclosed space. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, what's, that song? what's that song by the English Beat? Mirror in the bathroom. Mirror in the bathroom. Laughter in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. So how the fuck are you? Our, our table. Was, our table. How are we? Yeah, let's go around the table here and give it a little, little oh, bit, of, little, little, little bit, a little, little, little bit of how the fuck are you? I would say I'm okay. Okay. All things considered. Okay, I, I think we can combine, com, 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 combine, <laughs> combine, <laughs> combine, <laughs> combine. How the fuck are you? And what's your, what's your, what's your re- level reading? Mm. Ooh, yeah. yeah. All right. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. So we don't have to like. Yeah. Because we're gonna go straight. One we're gonna... to ten. Because we might not. One we're being uh, the absolute best. Ten being left of good. Ooh. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> might as well. Okay. This I is like us. It. All right. Sounds good. I would say I'm a solid six. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh Excellent. no, that's a pretty okay. Yeah. Well, oh, it's far ten. from best. It's far from best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're not left of good right now, so that's good. <laughs> I mean, There's I'm, a podcast title right there. Far from best. <laughs> I'm writing it down. New podcast. Uh, far, from best. Been, uh, far from best. Far from best. So, so why are we far from best today? Um, I would say it's like. A combination of things. Like you're you're I, not far. I, you're six. You're not far from best. You're like Midwest from best. You know? Midwest yeah, it's kind from of, best. Yeah. Midwest from best. Yeah, far from best is like one. Oh, we know. Or ten. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. yeah. I, I switched. Confused. I switched. I switched. Yeah, right. Flip the script on this. Yeah. From best. I, I just, yeah. That, I, I, that was a nice round to it, but yeah. Going back to the, I would say it's like a combination of things. It's like. Being a frontline worker, like during these crazy ass times, is uh, um, not fun. Not fun. So. Yeah, and then uh, combine that too with like idiots who don't want to wear masks and like idiots who just run businesses in general. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, hey. Yeah. Hey. I'm not talking about <laughs> you guys. Kidding. I'm talking. About, uh, <laughs> I'm just talking kidding. about. The, um, Rulers is, is, is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. 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 Our, so. our ruling class moron. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm like, you work at Staples, bro. You're talking about like a ruler, like a regular measuring ruler? <laughs> yeah. I probably should have said scissors. Nice. The, the, the whole thing would have went that whole different way. <laughs> I'm like, Sarah, Sarah, with that, Sarah with that dad joke. Love it. Nice. You're welcome, Goofy. Well, yeah, and, and it's like... <laughs> Man, we're, we're going into a year with this. Almost a year. It's, yeah. it's really fucking year. real. Yeah, really real. It's getting really real. We're real fucking retarded. That's right. Really it's, been, it's, it's been really retarded for a while. It's been real tarded. Real tarded. No. There we go, another one. Coining it. <laughs> real tarded. It's been dick tarded. <laughs> Ooh. Gee. Dirty. All right. So yeah, that's how I've been. Well, okay. Excellent. Uh, the bright bad. spots have just been like it's not a ten. Friends so. hanging out with friends. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. It's. I, I think that's. I think that's fucking vital to hang out with your small circle. It keeps you fucking sane. It yeah. keeps you absolutely sane mm-hmm. in, in this time. You know, like I couldn't. I couldn't imagine being like isolated after long. Like, well, like, I miss your mom. Yeah. Uh, well, Shantae. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, I miss all you guys. She's, I miss she's all you doing guys. all right. She's doing all right. But, but, but I miss your mom. You know what I mean? Well, they're, they're the furthest away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, she I, I, lives by herself. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the thing I'm saying. I thought your sister lived with her. No, no. my sister lives in Tahoe. How far is that from? It's like uh, R. Hours? It's NorCal. It's like seven, eight hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nine hours. She didn't move out of state. Like it's all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> like the <laughs> nosebleed section of California. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I think maybe. It's so pretty up there, though. It's up there. It's up there. It's like it's three quarters of the way, maybe. Mm-hmm. It's not like Redding, fucking California. It's pretty fucking close, though. Yeah, it's close. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, 
Is it in Northern California the one that gets snow? Yes. Oh, okay. well, I mean, my mom oh, wow. got snow this yeah. week. Okay. She's in Southern California. It's Where? just the altitude, yeah. like how high yeah. up you are. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Right. But like, you go to like, yeah, it's just the altitude situation. Like Redding, Redding I don't remember when we drove through Redding. Redding got snow mm -hmm. when we drove through it. Do they get the Rockies up there? Yeah. Uh, A little bit? A bit? A bit? No. We get, we, we get, what is it? The, the, the mountain, Shasta Mountain Range. Whoa. Yeah, it's Shasta. Yeah. <laughs> that cheap ass soda. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's right. It just sounds so familiar. I don't think it's Shasta's fun. like the off branch. Shasta's yeah, like Shasta the Shasta thunder. Voice. It's like President's choice. Yeah, there you go. What, what did I say? Parents. Parents. There's also parents' choice down here, but that's yeah, like there is. Brand. That's why I was like, that's not right. You can't have Coca Cola. <laughs> you can have Shasta Cola. That's right. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of the Zellers' like own brand shit. Parents' choice. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't even have a name. No, it, it had a yeah. name. I just forgot it. Was it's like, just like here. This will fucking work. It's a little bit soda. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or pot. Yeah. It's like no name brand. Now it's like soda on a yellow can. Just soda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's another Cola. watching, Cola. and he was like, "We didn't even have a brand. The bag just said cookies." That's a uh, Chris Rock stand up. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's the best. <laughs> it's comical when you're like when you see people with that stuff because like you can walk into their home and they can have like a thing up there and just mm -hmm. says oats and it's like what are we in a cartoon or something <laughs> <laughs> what are we in my poor childhood let me look at your beard does it have just three x's on the bottle right <laughs> yes <laughs> three x's on a jug it's just a picture there's no words right how's, how's, how's everybody else doing i think i'm at um probably at a six too i don't know five or six I'm currently in oh, denial. I was my foot. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm currently in denial of my life status right now. Yeah. His Christmas is coming. <clears throat> I'm fucking terrified right now. Like, why? Just because of work, or because? Yeah. Of the well, it, if you guys have been following me at all, and you're my friends on Facebook, you saw what Easter looked like for us. No, Fun. It's gonna be double that. Ooh. It's looking that way, real easy. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah, we're doing gingerbread house cookie kits and then regular sugar cookie kits, like cookies for Santa. Right. And I'm I'm so scared right now. No. It's like breath. That's right. Uh, yeah. Like we're starting next week. We have to start next week because if we don't, there's no way we'll be able to get them all out to everyone before Christmas. Yeah. And some of them are getting delivered the first week of December. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it's exciting. Well, I mean, thankfully there's no like there's no mail deliveries though, right? I mean. That would be just absurd. What do you mean? Oh, like oh, mailing them out? Yeah, yeah, I'll be mailing some to my family, uh, which is fine. I can do that this next up week, right? And they'll get them in time and they'll be doing their stuff. But yeah, we're not mailing them around Canada, but basically all of, I don't know, wherever. What's our section of BC called? Northern. Northwest. Northwest BC. Yeah, so basically yeah. everyone Northwest BC. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Which is yeah. wonderful because our business needs it. It's good for our business, you know, but. It's, it's a lot. terrifying. <laughs> That's all right. We got this. There's only we're so many of us. We're all going to pull together on this one. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be there more than I was on the last one. So I'm just in denial, guys. For like an hour. <laughs> I'm in denial. I'm a little <laughs> overwhelmed about what this month is going to look like. We'll be okay. Yeah. I, I like, like, okay, so she's a six. I'm like, I'm like floating on fucking two. Mm -hmm. I'm like super stoked about it. Uh, for me, this is this is a, a big change for me. I'm used to doing sugar cookies. I'm used to doing cakes. I'm used to doing cupcakes, right? It's always the strange shit that we do that I get really excited about, right? I've always, you know, we work, we get special orders where we're doing like cream puffs. I'm the you know, I'm, I'm the one doing cream puffs. I get super stoked about doing fucking cream puffs because it's something different. Yeah. Something that's out of the ordinary, something that's not the usual, right? So this time we're doing gingerbread houses, and I love gingerbread houses. Okay, so in this household, I am Mr. Christmas. I'm the one that gets excited about Christmas time. Right? This, this is this is not this is not you and Cherie, man. You guys are just <laughs> yeah. all over that shit, dude. Like everybody like starts bitching about Christmas music, and I'm like, fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, but it, it's just. It's just that one time a year that in my head it had nothing to do with what 
most people think about Christmas. In my head, it's when everybody came around. Yeah. And it didn't matter the dispute. It didn't matter the differences. Yeah. We all got together and we all just celebrated. Enjoyed. And yeah. we enjoyed everything. Right. It was the togetherness. Mm -hmm. And like, this is what it is for me. This is why this is so exciting for me is the togetherness that's going to be with our circle because everybody's <laughs> going to come to our house on a fucking daily basis. Yeah. This is and like ground zero for the holidays. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, and, and, it, and it's going to be for our cookie kit making factory, right? Everybody's going to come over. We're all going to fucking hang out, right? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna become that fucking Christmas drunk and fucking get drunk and bake. That's right. I'm fucking right. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. So we're nothing's changing. No, I'm just, gonna, I'm just kidding. We're par for the course right now. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just gonna be larger scale, but you yeah. know, everything. I have my moments of excitedness because yeah. of it, but. Yeah. Mine usually comes at the end after I see all the pictures of the kids and parents of people making our kids, you know, but yeah, exactly. up until that point, I'm like hot mess. <laughs> Cheers. What's up to Steven? We just dropped in the chat. Hey. Neil's buddy, Steven. What's up, Steven? I said, have a good stream, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for popping in. We'll plan on it. So I hope that doesn't mean he's taking off. Yeah. Does that mean he's taking off? Oh, I feel like he's saying goodbye. That feels like a goodbye. That feels like a goodbye. It does. <laughs> Yeah. So what's right. up to you, Sarah? Yeah. Sarah, talk to us. Huh? Sarah. Hi. Oh, like, okay, what was the, was it like so one, is one is the highest? Good, is good. Okay, so today Duff flipped it. So Duff, want to explain it to her? One is good. <laughs> one is good. So one is good, 10 is bad. Yeah. yeah. 10 is um, bad. Yeah. Then I'm like probably a nine. Oh, oh, oh shit. It's <laughs> just, I am so fed up with everything. Like this week. I think was just um, a shit show. I mean, nothing horrible out of the ordinary happened. It was just like, it just all kind of came tumbling down, I guess. Um, everything came to a head. I'm yeah. just over it. Christmas is coming. I can't spend it with my family because of COVID. I can't, I mean, worried about like the kids this Christmas and stuff. And it's just kind of, it used to be different. It used to be like, like, upset it used to be like super big with my family we would get shit faced at, on christmas eve at the family uh christmas eve party and we would just yeah. have a blast like everybody always came to my sister's house and uh thanksgiving we always had huge meals one or two of them uh just different family households and just it was just being together and we can't do any of that now um so i'm angry uh, i'm sad i just kind of feel like i'm just here you know what I mean? Like somebody's home, but the lights aren't on. I'm just literally floating, trying to get through the holidays, just trying to get to a place where things are, I guess, stable again, because I know that you guys know the U.S. is like bad right now with the COVID cases. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people will be visiting their family, so it's only going to jump over the holidays. Um, Trump's being an asshole and is just refusing to concede I, I don't know what that means, but I hear like half of the road that was, you know, Republican or like, okay, like we can't continue to support you because you're just doing dumb shit. Right, and right. the other half is like, no, keep going. They all cheated. And it's like, fuck, like it, it's just everything. Like I said, just kind of boiled to a head and I'm just exhausted. I'm done. Exhausting. Like, it's it's even in every like inner circle like a couple of my girlfriends are going through some shit right now and i think i'm like the dr phil of the game so yeah. you know i'm, I'm but i'm like different side i'm trying to be neutral and, and understand both sides but i just everything just feels very negative very heavy and i'm just it feels like the air itself is corrosive so i'm just over it right that's completely understandable yeah Right. And I think that's, I mean, I think that's the importance of this. I think this is the importance of why mm -hmm. we do this every week, right? Because we have our small circle as well, that where mm -hmm. we have somebody that needs to work out through some of these issues. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Mine was the last week. Yep. Right. Uh, I came to a head on some of, some of the situations and some of the things that are going through my head because what's going on with COVID and what's going on with, with myself personally and all my emotional issues that, that I was going through, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this is the important thing is that this is your, this is your platform. Mm -hmm. We are your Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. So 
So I'm glad you're here, Sarah. Well. Yes. Thanks, Thanks glad, for so being in the closet with us tonight. We're glad you're here, and we're glad that you sound all crispy and clear and loud crispy, and everything. Crispy, yeah, crispy. And your hair is <laughs> fucking dope. Yes. Really? Because it like came out super bright, and then the purple, like, I don't know. It's so good. I'm really jealous Fantasmic. right now. Fantasmic. Fucking Yay. jello. Yeah, the crowd loves it. <laughs> <laughs> so... There's that silver line. Right? Yeah, man. And there you go. We have, yeah. we are here for you, one hundred percent, all the fucking time. That's right. And not just tonight. Amen. Through the rest of the fucking week, you have Shantae. Shantae's always there. Yeah. Yep. Not okay. just tonight. At least two more nights. <laughs> Apparently, he's going to murder me. <laughs> yeah. She laughs. Murder. <laughs> it's such a good time. Such a good time. <laughs> It's about, it sounded yeah. more and more better. I'm not gonna lie. Like the French. fucking kids, like mm. oh yeah. yeah. I am actually not shitting you. I'm going to start a petition for teachers to get higher pay because I can handle my kids, but it's just like they want to argue all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you have no basis for an argument, dick. Go to bed. I thought you said you were going to start a petition for against your kids. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's getting there. It's getting there. It's Kirby's getting... going to start at like fucking seven o'clock. Get your asses in the time. morning. I'm going to lock them under the stairs and shit. All right, Harry and Potter, go to bed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Don't forget James. Yeah, Harry James Potter. That's right. It's true, I got three of them. That's right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, the fucking baby like projectile vomited today too that's oh, fucked up Dang. that's never good it's just I think because he ate too much and then like I went to kiss him and I like was playing with him and I went come here and I like pulled him he's like Bleh! and I was like whoa oh. <laughs> all right well Hey, let's see if we can turn that frown upside down tonight, shall we? Yes, yes. please. Yeah. Yes, please. Please, please, please. Yeah, Where yeah. are you sitting then, Malcolm? Did you go yet? No, Malcolm is next. Do I have to? You absolutely All right, so always have to. I'd say I'm kind of teetering. I'm going like from a one to a ten to a three to a ten. You know, I'm going down back and forth, just off the wall crazy, you know, like on a dime. It just it's just all over the place, and I think the only thing that really kind of chills me out is all you guys, right? And sure. uh, our other friends, of course, that aren't here with us tonight. Yeah, like yeah. We have our circles bigger than this. You know, yeah. there's a couple of other ones. Yeah, seeing them, talking to them, keeping in touch with them. My daily regimen. I have to have a routine, otherwise, I probably wouldn't be bouncing back and forth. I'd be at a steady ten, just you know. So I think routine is important. When you, when you have those mood shifts, when you have a tendency to be depressed, it's good to have yourself a daily routine. That, you know, you wake up in the morning, like like Oliver always says, you know, make your bed. That's your first victory of the day. Make your bed. That's the simplest thing you could do. You know, have breakfast, brush your teeth, have a shower. You know, have coffee, listen to some music. Make a routine out of your morning and stick to it, and it'll keep you on the straight and narrow. So, you know, for me, it's it's all that. You know. A little, bit, little bit of coffee in the morning, right? Work out. You know, I listen to I listen to podcasts all fucking day long, and that helps too. And and you know, and you're listening to good, healthy, positive podcasts too. So yeah, always information going in, and trying to keep positivity coming out whenever yeah. whenever you can. You know, I, I think I think a good, healthy of the mix. Yeah. Right? Like I think heavier moderation. on the positive. Yeah. Heavy, heavier on the positive, but a good moderation. Yeah. Like. For me, a constant listening to murder is a difficult thing. I can't. I can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't. Whereas that's 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 my wife's mm-hmm. thing. She can. It's a constant. She can constantly listen to it. Yeah. Right. And then and that's perfectly fucking fine. But with me, a, a good mix. Yeah. Of listening to murder and then listening to something funny or listening to some punk rock podcast yeah. or listening like like a yeah. combination and then like healthy healthy lifestyle situation. So on and so forth, right? Yeah, that's always that's always nice, right? Um, I had but like I had to cut myself off Twitter because I felt the negative. 
Yeah, like you this have to cut yourself constant. off. Constant. Like yeah. not being home right now and all that. I ha- I'm sucked into it. I want to know everything about everything all the time. Yeah. But it's just, it's and you that's have just to not healthy shit out because yeah, Absolutely. like we said, you have I to. Think, you have to I throw think, some positive in there. I think what I've noticed something about like the Facebook culture now though hasn't been so negative because we've included ourselves in Sarah's fucking meme situation. Yeah, that's a definitely right? a big pick me up. Right? Yeah. Because because of this meme situation, it's it's there's a bombardment of fucking hilarious memes that show Yeah, up. like you can't get away from it. I post so much I call it shopping. Yeah. So right. I'll go to like all these different meme groups. It. It's called Sarah's Meme Mart. It's a page on <laughs> Facebook and you can join the group and you can add uh, memes to it also. Right, Which but oh, that's the means marketplace. Doing. <laughs> yeah, it's an open, it's, open group, right? This is like a number one poster. But it's it's funny though because I remember like prior to this COVID situation, the negativity that was on Facebook was ridiculously like, just as bad it was as Twitter. Much. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. just as bad as yeah. Twitter. And then throughout throughout COVID, right, it it it, it became almost, like toxic and more toxic. And then all of a sudden there was a slight like there was a shift. In, yeah like fucking time for some weird reason and and like everybody says it and i think it's funny yeah. but it's because of fucking dog face mm. yeah yeah like mm. everybody says because of dog face there's like a shift in, in what's in, dog face he, yeah he's, no, I'm like, what? he's the dude that's saying uh he's on the skateboard with uh okay so that guy's name is dog face his, his, twi- his no, TikTok account. Oh, it's his oh is he the one that was singing oh, that um song, song. yes yeah, yeah. He, and he was drinking cranberry face, face. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. His, his, his 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 account is dog face 420. <laughs> it's like it's like 28 or 420 <laughs> dog face 208 or yeah. something like that yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. right yeah and and like it was just like there was a shift and then everybody was like okay well yeah, we, gotta, we can laugh now. It's yeah, okay. You can find some. You can find some fucking beauty and shit did get real so tight, shit. huh? And he was yeah. like loosened everyone up. Yeah, yeah. And, and he keeps good. doing it, like he does little dances and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he like, looks like knows. gangster as fuck too. So that's funny. The coolest thing it's I true. saw was him sitting down with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, in a chair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chairs. It's true. It was, that thing. It's just and little. It was, some just people subtle things, and then in, in like in our area. Yeah. yeah, we have the flaggers. There's a road construction going on between. Um, oh yeah, you told me about that. And yeah. then we have the the one guy on one end, and then his girlfriend works the other flag on the other side, and they're just like so pleasant. Honestly, yeah. it would be like um, I think the comparison would be like you know those sign guys, Sarah. They're like yeah, those waving. Signs, and they're like so fun to watch. Yeah, it's like them. And they're like they're so much fun and they wave at us and they do like i wonder if they know like how much people appreciate their they, do. they do now well what happened to and i shared it um i shared it on one of our community pages but someone went on the terrace community page and they're like hey you guys so i talked to them those two and this is how they take their coffee so if you're driving oh, well. you want to give them a coffee because it's cold right now mm-hmm. so yeah. i took that i did a screenshot of that post and i put it on the kid map page and then I also said, and their name, their names are Haley and Hector. And then this is how That's they like cute. their coffee. And so now everyone's yeah. like, oh, cool. You hey, know, Haley. Like, Shout out to Haley and Hector out yeah, there. Everyone's yeah. talking about them. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I see posts like, daily, like for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, and it's just it's that just, just goes to show, like how yeah. much everyone people... needs that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody, everybody kind of needs this, like positivity, this little spark, this mm-hmm. little, yeah. this little this slight spark that just changes your day, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and what we're doing right now is we're forgetting the fact that it's only a slight situation that's fucking with our life. This yeah. is one mm-hmm. year. It's not it's forever. Not, it's not for fucking ever. Yeah. And it's yeah. only one year mm-hmm. out of my entire existence. Mm-hmm. Right? or your entire existence so really it's a blip yeah yep that we have to realize that mm-hmm. it is only going to be a blip even if it lasts 10 years yeah right yeah this it will eventually this situation, balance this out situation isn't going to last 10 years i hope but yeah. no, no. but it's not going to last but you got to think of the think of it this way too it's not going to be like flat, like straight shitty the whole time. It's going no. to go up and it's going to go down. You're going to yeah, have your peaks and you're going to have your valleys. So you have to, you have to just roll with the punches and know that it's it's not the end. Exactly. Right. Exactly. But what's up, Victor, in the chat? How are you hey, doing tonight? Hey, Victor. Said, Hi, motherfuckers. What we up? were we were talking about Victor too. I would yeah. say I told Chris I bet he would play the game with us tonight. Yeah, I think he would too. I think yeah. he would. Hey, Victor, stick around if you're going to stick around. We we're going to play a game, you guys. It's yeah. going to be great. Yeah, we, got, we got a game show coming up here in a little bit. 
All right. So I just want I just wanted to throw props to to our 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 local silver lining because this is my fucking thing. This yeah. is my thing. Mm -hmm. The yeah. silver lining is my thing. I went from the cat that fucking ranted about absolutely everything that I despised, hated, and fucking you know didn't like to the guy that's like, hey, come on, mm -hmm. look at this. We're gonna bring so much joy mm -hmm. with these kids. It's gonna be overwhelming, sure. It's gonna be hard, sure. But it's gonna be so much fun because we're gonna be with each other doing it. The yeah. whole fucking time. It's true. We're yeah. lucky. Right? And then and then in the end, we're going to see all these fucking beautifully happy, smiling kids. Yeah, it's going to be fucking great. It's going to be great. Yeah. So find your silver lining. Mm -hmm. whether, whether, no matter how shitty it is, no matter how shitty your situation is, there's always going to be a slightly so. It's, it's, it's moments in time. Right? In the yeah. end, in the end, honestly, you make, you make out what is happy for you and another thing too is um you know you're going through your days where things are going on or you're feeling down or whatever's going on just remember who's watching santa claus is right, watching, right? <laughs> besides santa yeah. i mean our kids right our kids our friends they're seeing people, us deal with it we're talking we about it. things right and we're posting things or we're having conversations in the car where we're driving somewhere and our kids are in the back seat these things are, you know, affecting them. They're soaking up stuff too. Yeah. So, and you know, and they're thinking about stuff too. So, I'm not. I know we're not per perfect, and I know that we're all thinking and talking about stuff. Just remember who's watching. Sometimes just be more aware around you. Be mindful. When you're going into a store, or, you know, you're having a conversation about something, and maybe you're sitting close to someone who's having dinner. Or, you know, just think mm -hmm. about those things. Yeah. If you could be the one who's exuding positivity or putting some light you know, around you, that would be good. So this, okay. So this is kind of perfect. It's going to segue into my, my silver lining of the week. All right. If you guys don't mind. No, not at all. Let's do this. Okay. So Duff silver lining. All right. So we're spending a ridiculous amount of fucking time at home. My son's being homeschooled. My daughter's not necessarily going to day daycare or childcare. Right. So we're, we're spending a ridiculous amount of time at home. Mm -hmm. And Pollux is doing his school thing, and then we're done the school thing, and then we're at home. Um, I'm the only one that ever really leaves the house. I mean, this is the decision that our family has made. Um, if we do well go, I'm the only one that leaves the vehicle. Usually, yeah. Right? You know, uh, things have loosened up, you know, within the last few months, and then our family would go, and then we go and take the kids because they need to get the fuck out. Yeah. Right? We can't. This, we're not built. Human beings aren't built to be cooped. Yeah, and we it, took him to dinner one time, and then I was like, oh, my excited. God, the kids have not left the car in six months. Yes. Yeah. Like, even if they went in the car and left the house, they haven't left the car. Yeah. No. We were like, holy right. shit. Right? Okay. So, today, um, we're hanging out. Uh, Pollux has done his thing. So, he's doing his thing, what he does, you know. My self-reliant gamer of a child does his thing. Yeah. And then I leave my room. And I go to the bathroom, and as I'm coming out of the bathroom, my son comes running up to me. He's like, Dad, check this out. And I was like, what's that? And he shows me his phone, or the phone that he's using. And it's got one of those MIDI pads. Are they called MIDI pads? Or, or media pads, right, where you can create music on them. Yeah, media, I think it's media. MIDI, MIDI is a, a form of, of audio, like a yeah, yeah, simple yeah. So audio. So it's like media. Yeah, it's media. a media pad, right? So... <laughs> He went and created his own goddamn song. When in Rome. Oh, he scary. made his own music and it sounded good. I'm not talking like he had samples on there, pre-made samples on the on the on the on the pad already, but he was able to create his own music with this pad on his own. Yeah. Right? That's so I'm just like, this kid's fucking what? You're all seven? Yeah. He's fucking seven and created music he was super like stoked. this. I think and he was super stoked about it. I think what's really awesome is that he's like maybe this is it maybe he was bit by the music bug now and, yeah, and that'll you know, be his thing i feel like just n nurture that i'm so absolutely going to oh, yeah. no, no, i've never i've never i've never like I'll, I'll, I'll joke around with you guys about my son liking edm right but i've never yeah. i've never dampened his pleasure for it yeah he asks me for a song that he wants to listen to when we're in the car i play it yeah mm -hmm. right i endure yeah. his pleasure because, what else are you supposed to do yeah. <laughs> Right, I could be like, I could be like, no, I'm not gonna play that. I'm gonna yeah. play one of my songs, and you're gonna listen to one of my songs. I can be that. To you're gonna, yeah. I'm gonna be a dick. I can be a dick and be like, you're gonna fucking like punk rock, only punk rock, and that's it. You wanna you. get out and walk? 
This is what we're listening to, kid. Right? I'm the driver, listen to what I'm playing. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I, you know, I indulge. I indulge him. I indulge him pri- you know, privately. He's go read something. And I'm, I'm impressed with it. Just because it's not, it, just because it doesn't tickle my pickle doesn't mean that it's not talent. Yeah. Right? Sure. And, and it's, it's a very, it's a, I mean, this is not usual. Yeah, it was you know? totally out of blue. And, and it's, no, and it's not just, you. it's not usual for most children. No. Eventually, they kind of grow out of playing with music and, you know, they need to go and do other things. It was cool, guys. It was just, it was pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. And, like, Shantae's, Shantae's dad's going to fucking love Yeah, this. my dad produces music. Yeah. Like, he really does, and he makes his own music. He's not, like, a DJ who puts songs together for things and not putting any DJ that does that, you know, like he doesn't do weddings. He makes music. Yeah. Different, and so, different style. Yeah. He does, yeah. he does like, he and does. And it's something that my dad would have been like, wow, yeah. that's cool, dude. He, he creates yeah. beats from, 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 from other music. Mm-hmm. You should find out. There's, exactly. there's usually a way where you can mix those songs down that he makes on that app and, and have an MP3. Yeah. Know? And then, you know, send it off to him. See uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure I'm, you can I'm, do I'm that. I'm actually, I think okay. I'm, cool. I think I'm actually going to probably download a professional one for him yeah. and then pay for it so they can actually yeah. do it get him a physical down. keyboard with like a midi pad and a drum pad and stuff yeah and, you know let him bang on it yeah. yeah that's the best way to get a kid into music is you know let him make noise let yeah. him make their own give them the right tools yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm definitely like i'm i'm soaked I, I i'm stoked i i love music stoked and soaked mm-hmm. soaked and stoked all the way <laughs> like like i love music I'm a big music fan, right? Mm-hmm. Just because I don't particularly care for certain kinds of music doesn't mean it doesn't excite me when my child shows interest in music. I like the for idea sure. of music, not necessarily <laughs> music. <laughs> I, like, I like music in, in theory. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like listening to it. I just kind of like hearing about it. Right. Yeah. I like the names of this is my silver lining tonight. He collect, he, he's collecting guitar magazines. He doesn't play it, though. Great. Yo, we had some of this last year, and we got fucking blotto. Right? Oh. So guess what Malcolm's doing today? Fingers crossed. <laughs> blotto, blotto, like blotto. a lot more than last year, too. Because <laughs> like, yeah, we split it. The three of us shared it. Yeah. So, yeah. So what's, what's next? To see you. Yeah, so well, long. Oh, what, what do we next? normally do? Um, shoot the shit, man. Might as well just shoot the shit. Let's talk about Neil's news that he had. It's a biggie. It's a biggie. Yeah. Neil's nerdy news. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty pretty heavy subject just because well, there's just one bit of news, but there's a few things within it, but it's just such big news. And, I mean, you had to literally live under a rock to not know what was going on up there. But um, it's basically Warner Bros., Ask John uh, Johnny Depp to step down from the role of Grindelwald, right? Uh, while his ex girlfriend slash wife uh, gets to keep her role on the other one of those franchise, uh, Aquaman two. So obviously, <laughs> everybody is upset about this. The here. pitchforks are out. Yeah, yeah. pitchforks, torches, all, torches, of, the, all of the above. It's, it's really horrible. It's at a time when society has been trying to say, hey, men, be okay with expressing yourselves, right. mm-hmm. coming forth and expressing your feelings. We have one of the most well known men in the world uh, try to do that, and almost nobody believed him. Well, the court system absolutely denied lot, that it existed. Yeah. yeah. So, they obviously took um, Amber Heard's side, and then recent evidence. Is this for the poop on the bed? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's a money. That's a there. part of it. That's a big part of it. <laughs> it, it really, yeah, it really. Is. <laughs> it's the only thing. <laughs> so, I mean, what? that's what stuck out to me because I don't follow news a lot. But I was like, did somebody just say? poop on the bed like she shut on the bed yeah like yes. straight up got angry can we address okay. the poop not too? only did she do it she tried to pass it off on her dog yeah but then she admitted oh but it was just a joke even her dog laughed he was like i do not take liquidy she shits like that <laughs> he's like i ain't no corn bitch this bitch is on drugs right 
any one of us who were in a relationship, if your girlfriend, let's okay, dudes around the table, if your girlfriend took a shit on your bed, <laughs> to fuck like you, you shit like, anywhere. If she shat on your ass. car, yeah. if she shat yeah. on the floor, yeah. if she yeah. shat like if next to the toilet. Food. If she pooped it's, anywhere but the toilet, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not on okay. Purpose, yeah. On purpose, yeah. Yeah, like, well, I mean, I mean you know, she maybe she's by drunk. Accident because she's too drunk or too too high. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We've all been there. All right. Um, <laughs> mm, all right. No, but, you would be but, like, get the fuck out, and then you would pink, tell all of your friends. You clean yeah. it, you dumb hoe. There, there's the pink slip. The <laughs> but she was wow. a, she was abusive. She was mentally, physically, and emotionally abusive. abusive. And then yeah. she did weird shit. Yeah. Didn't he have like, like nose in it. Oh. Absolutely. Oh. Rub more than a nose in it. I feel, I, I feel like that would... rub? And then the other thing yeah. too is that she had like several photos and a video of him like yeah. throughout the relationship. And I was just thinking to myself. How fucked up is this person that you're in a relationship? She's got all these photos of you like passed out and stuff. Right. I mean, one time he was eating ice cream. I've been there. And, well, we can all eat ice cream. If oh. you, like, you're passed ice out to like good. have something against you, your whole relationship, you just keep in these saved photos and videos. And, I'm gonna get this motherfucker. You know? And I'm like, how fucked up are you as a person that you always have to feel like you have to have blackmail for somebody? Right. Well, yeah. what does yeah. that say about like her, how she grew up or her past relationships or even mm -hmm. like the celebrity mask that they always put on like because i haven't heard much about it i will tell you that neil so you can mansplain it to me in a minute but mansplain i love that we keep saying that <laughs> but it's like i i guess ex-boyfriend said yeah. that she was really abusive does he have like concrete evidence her, like text her messages ex boyfriend or... was mm -hmm. elon musk and there's oh, like fuck. photos that you can see of them together where it looks like he has bruises on mm -hmm. his face and arms. And yeah. every one of Johnny Depp's exes came forward <clears throat> and said he was never like that ever. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hello. So uh, heard yourself, heard, heard it out. They're like, there's petitions yeah. all over. Yeah. Get her out. So Get what was the judge's way. basis? Like, oh, why was the... he like, oh, we'll give it to the bitch? Well, That's why it, it, it's actually she blew him. it's she blew him after the trial. It's more that um, the current thing that you would read about is him, Johnny Depp losing a court case uh, with that, but it's more that him suing a British newspaper for calling him a wife beef. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and he lost that. Yeah, he lost that in U a UK. It was the Daily Press in the UK, and he lost that suit. Yeah, right, and because of that suit that he lost. He lost his job with Warner Brothers as uh, Grindelwald for uh, Fantastic Beasts Three, and it's only if he only because he lost, right? Like lost it's not suit. like it's not because if he, he would have won, he would have been fine. Well, no. we don't even know now. We don't because, know because 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 he lost his he lost his case his civil I believe he lost his civil case against I mean, <clears throat> against Herd. Uh, uh, the I'm last thing I read, certain, but that could, I feel like I think uh, he lost it against because the the court in the United States. I think it, it didn't go, go to the Supreme Court yet, no. but I think he lost his his case against Heard. I think there's a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know about yeah, because sure. the whole Absolutely. the whole thing it's all under Warner Brothers, right? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic Beasts is under Warner Brothers. Depp gets kicked to the curb, right? And and then Amber Heard gets she gets. They yeah. left her alone. They left the letter keeper role in Aquaman too. And then, they, and now on top of this, I just saw an article where she's she's pressing for a bigger part in Aquaman, Aquaman two now. Two. Well, she's already she's already an established character in the fucking in the fucking yeah. movie. So yeah. how how much more can you get? There's not much. Exactly. What does she want to be Aquaman now? Right. Can we like? Get? Can we just put her on Jerry Springer though? Like, can we? Just... I feel like somebody needs to just yell at her. And like the audience needs to boo, and then somebody has some kind some of shaming. well, we know that yeah. when that happens, you get a rap career, right? Tar and feathering, um, they need to bring back tarring and feathering. No, because I mean, I wouldn't want to get like busted for doing some dumb shit, and they're like, mm, tar and feather your bitch ass like that. I was just gonna say, put her in the octagon with Ronda Rousey. Okay, girl. <laughs> and Beautiful. then, like for let's, for those of you guys listening, and they're like, "Who fucking cares about these celebrities?" We do. It's a big deal for us because of 
Brenda Walsh. Like, we're nerds. Yeah. Well, it's we're like nerds. totally affecting the future of this whole Fantastic franchise. Beats it, franchise yeah. and Harry Potter. Yeah. And of course, we're freaks about it. And, and furthermore, it's 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 our business. If we like, as if, has, if we yeah. like a movie, who cares what the fuck anyone else thinks? You yeah, know, you got it, people out there in Facebook but land that are talking shit about this. They're like, but, "Fuck these guys. Who cares?" I'm like, "Well, the fans." Better than fucking politics. We want this person. He's one. But he's an amazing person in this role. Yeah. But it, but also it, it tackles what f this is all the fuck about. So it's not, this this show is about fucking mental health. Well, and yeah. who the fuck doesn't right? like Johnny Depp, right? Right. Yeah. Right. We're yeah. we're all right. like everyone fucking, and so it's just like don't put baby in the fucking corner, please. You just put De- Johnny Depp in the corner. I would say Go, that <laughs> in your top ten <laughs> list of movies, there's at least one Johnny Depp movie. In Absolutely, there. there's a yeah. few. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Or in, even in, all of them. Fantastic Beasts is in one of my top ten. Yeah. Grindelwald, The Crimes of Grindelwald, is in my top ten. So there we go. Victor yeah. says she's more of a bad baby, weight class. That's what I'm saying. Oh, gross. Yeah. 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 Everyone booed her and told her she was trash, and then she got a rap deal, and she has tons <laughs> of money. They need a, they need a fight. Yeah. That's what I was saying. So we could put her on TV. Celebrity boxing. She'd probably go. make more money Ooh. because of it. Oh, my <laughs> God. No, but it's not Dr. Phil, though, like Bad Baby did. Like, we need Jerry Springer or the Steve Wilco show. Oh, we don't need any of that. We need a fucking ring with fucking in their hands wrapped but bare knuckle yeah and then fight to the death celebrity death and match. Then, celebrity death match whoever wins the oh, other... i heard they were gonna bring that back so we just kill them both yeah all right line them up yeah let's <laughs> just line them up. Do you have another one uh any more news uh oh did, yeah was... we kind of stole it from you dude did you, guys, <laughs> did you guys catch the official trailer for batman nope. i didn't see it i didn't yet. watch it yeah not yet oh, i was God, gonna you guys need to watch it, it. Hold on. Malcolm shared it in the group, but I was I like, no I cared. was too busy. I balls oh, deep in. You guys have full conversations. I'm well, yeah, Malcolm sure. commented on it. <laughs> I fucking love it. Yeah. Dude. It looks so goddamn good. God damn it. God damn it. Are you going to jerk off in the theater too, bro? I'm definitely going to jerk hey, off in the theater. What the fuck? Yeah. Front row. Now I have to Why sit not? next to Neil instead because I don't want to get <laughs> out of the <laughs> we, we we always... Neil, you, Neil's a left hander. You got to sit in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stand up before I, you know. You're going to stand up and do it? Yeah. People so, are going to be pissed. I maybe have two oh, other smaller salute. bits of nudes. <laughs> okay. That's right. Did you so, say nudes? I know. I heard nude too. That's why I was like, is it? Is it, is it nudes with Neil. Nudes with Neil. I'm not even drinking nudes either. <laughs> Neil's nudes. So, my first bit is just, um, it's sort of sports entertainment related, but it's that. Shaq wants to get into pro wrestling for a bit there. Ooh. So what? They yeah, need a big guy. Shaq. So he's going to. Yeah, I mean. Dude. Isn't he like 100? Um, let, Feet I, tall, let's yeah. Let's see here. Let's, let's <laughs> see how old No, he's Shaq. like mid 40s. All right. Uh, he's 48. Uh, so late, late 40s. There are some wrestlers that are still performing that are older than him. And let's not forget that as a big guy, Woo! he doesn't have to be very yeah, athletic. Yeah, he yeah, just he has did. to be big and brooding. Yeah. And boisterous. So he's going to go have some sort of program on AEW. All right. Uh, that's, how I, that's why I'm really excited for that. That'd be fucking funny. So this is our res- <laughs> Neil is our resident wrestling. Yes. I have, a, I have another yeah. pro wrestling podcast with a buddy. Yeah, plug it. Let's hear on, it. Uh, plug it. It's called like it. Verbal Clothesline. We usually go on on Sunday nights at nine o'clock on Twitch and Facebook. Yeah. Or um, we just talk about it for like an hour, or maybe two hours. Yeah. The other bit of news just came out. Um, I believe it was either earlier today or yesterday, but uh, Umbrella Academy got renewed for season three. Yeah, they did. Which is uh, surprising. I mean, I haven't one. finished season two yet. I haven't even started. I haven't even started it yet. Oh, it's no. a really good series. It is good. It is good. I've heard about it. So, Shanti and I have some nerdy names. Ooh. Can we? Yeah. Yeah? Fuck yeah. All right. So, uh, we recently... Okay, uh, we always talk about what we do in the car. We always talk about it. Oh, should I in, be worried? I'm just kidding. Because we're in the car a lot. So uh, we recently started listening to The Outsider. This is a good Stephen segue. King. So if nobody has other nerdy news, 
you can tell yours because this goes into my Chante's. Okay. All right. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So, Warning. So, so we recently started listening to the to, to the Outsider, which is by Stephen King, and it's uh, oh. the uh, voice actor for the book is William Matson. Why does that name sound familiar? William Matson. He's an actor. Is it William Matson? I want to say it's William Matson. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. Mm. Arm- Armageddon. He's uh, Bruce Willis's like, bestie, like right hand man in right Armageddon. Right hand man in Armageddon. Armageddon. No. William Huh? William Pitt? No. The dude. William Defoe. William. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, I'm looking it Look up. Look it up. Here. Pull uh... up the cast of Armageddon. So this doesn't have to do with the uh, outsider. It, it well, it well, does with the book because yeah, I'm, I'm, he's I'm the, the one reading the book. He's on the auto. one reading the book, and he's got a fantastic voice. You, you, yeah. And as know soon as you voice. see his face, you're like, oh yeah, I yeah. know that guy. Yeah. As soon as you his see voice. his voice, you know that voice. Yeah. As soon as you see his face. Anyways, so he's he's the he's the vo- he's the he's well, the re- there it is William Patton. Yeah. So he's the voice. He's the voice. He's the, he's the reader of the book, mm-hmm. right? And um, uh, we just recently started watching The Outsider on HBO, mm-hmm. and it is fucking fantastic. It's directed by um, uh, what's his name? Ah, shit! Of course. Let's see here. Um, produced? Uh, mm-hmm. No, no, directed and starred for the first. Oh, Jason Bateman. Yes. yes. And we fucking yeah. love Jason Bateman. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's great. Check it out. It's a fucking for sure watch. I give it a 100% absolute fucking 10 stars. Like, My, if you can listen to it or read it, do yeah. that. It's so good. Um, but obviously, if you're yeah. watching shit, watch this. Yeah. It, it's it's really true to what's going on in the book. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll do that. Excellent. Listen and watch and read. So we took the we took the book home and we watched it. Oh. Which goes into my Shanteism, which I think is totally ridiculous, right? Because I can fucking listen about murder stories and killers and I can read about them all day long and then go to sleep like a little baby. And then fucking like watching outsiders hey you guys i i had issues going down the hallway to go to the bathroom <laughs> in the dark what the fuck right. like this guy's not gonna be in our house this isn't gonna happen to us like <laughs> uh, unrealistic uh, fear me. is the shanteism so it's like when you're a kid what's the weird thing that you were scared of that you thought was gonna happen you're like that there's no shark in your pool right. you know freddy right. krueger isn't gonna come out of your toilet and poke you in the butt you know, like you don't have to run out of the bathroom to turn the light off because no one's there. No one was there when the light was on. No one's going to be there now. Right. right. So that's what I want to talk about was like, what was, what's the thing that freaks you out or like. Unrealistic fear. Like we literally, we watched the show that we just said, and then we had to watch Friends because I couldn't go to sleep. <laughs> we had to watch Friends after because I was like. Friends is my go-to scary movie come down too. <laughs> we had to. And it's like some people are like, we'll put on a Disney movie now because, you know. <laughs> The unrealistic fear. Right. I don't, right. that's never left me. Like, I was literally running back to the bedroom to get in bed real quick. This is like, <laughs> what's like, wrong with right, you? So I'm like, like, I'm scared. All right. So, like, this like, was last night, you guys. So, like, normally, like, normally, like, our, all our doors are always shut, right? Mm-hmm. Because of the dog. Right. We, we, we don't like the dog going into the bathroom because the dog has picked up some really bad traits from living on a reservation. He gets into the trash sometimes. So, he gets yeah. into the trash. So we close that door, right? And then, like, he has the rest of the house to do whatever the fuck he wants to do in. So we that's close it. the doors so and go in the rooms, guys. Yes. Yeah. Right. So Shante normally closes the door when she goes to the bathroom when we're like doing our night routine of watching a movie, slowly getting tired and going to bed. But last night, the whole fucking night, our door was left wide the fuck open. Yeah. <laughs> like the whole time. No hall light or anything. Nothing. It's still black it's, in the no. hallway, but I'm like leaving the door, door open. open. Yeah, normally she doesn't even do that. Like, normally that's not a thing. <laughs> like she closes the door and then goes to the bathroom and comes back. But no, all fucking night, the door is left open. So I was like, all right, whatever. 
Oh, you're like, babe, I'm right here. Dude, and, it's, and it was funny because it's not like for me. Yeah, I was, I was having, a, I was having a little issue with the, the whole psychological aspect of the of the show and the book, right? It wasn't necessarily the actual scary part of the thing. It was the whole situation, the ridiculous situation along with this book and right. how gruesome the situation is. <laughs> so yeah, chocolate whispers. <laughs> so that 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 was that. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know, like whoever's around listening, or you guys, what was the unrealistic fear that you have in your kids? Yeah, to all our one listener out there, Victor. All right, let's hear unrealistic fear. Just the one. Yeah. I think definitely the shark and the pool thing was mine. Like, I think it likes Candyman and Shutter. Shutter. I haven't, I haven't watched any of this. We've been talking about all this. Oh, it's been more than an hour. Candyman is old, right? Yeah, yeah. No, they remade it. Oh, really? Burton Peel. Burton Peel. We already had some. Okay. They brought Tony Todd back, too. Yeah. He was the main guy. Wait, Mom, I thought you said you would play tonight. I hear a I hear boy voice. Right? I'm hearing things. It's Children Whispers. Children Whispers. Sarah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right. I just think it's funny. Like, I could listen to real life stories and shit happening to people. And yeah. I'm like, oh, this is life. What a great entertainment. And then I'm like, huh. right. this weird the face guy shit. is going to get me. <laughs> the, yeah. fake shit, the fake shit's actually scary. Yeah, that fucks yeah. me up, guys. Right. Yeah. It's so yeah. dumb. I should really check that one out. Man. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Definitely. I'm embarrassed. Um, <laughs> phony, phony shit that scares me. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna bring it back to fucking maximum. The damn overdrive. trucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know there are drivers there, but if you can't see them, it kind of creeps me out a little bit. Totally. Still to this day. Yeah. <laughs> or final destination. Final right. destination. Oh yeah, that's right. definitely yeah. If you're driving well, behind something, they're like shut down. Yeah. It's and where we live, it's literally a daily thing. So, <laughs> right. yeah. it really is. Yeah. It really is. So that's like, I mean, like the, the odds of that happening are very fucking slim, but it's still there. It's to the point where Duff only takes back streets everywhere and back roads on the highway. And I'll I'll go and get a boat and go up the river instead of driving. If there's a lot of traffic on the highway. You pull over and wait till they're all gone. I'll cater or what? What is it called? I'll, I'll contract a fucking uh, uh, a helicopter to fly me to Paris instead of. Driving. It's bad. I'll go the I'll go to the long way about things just so I don't have to get behind, stuck behind a logging truck. The helicopter pilots like, huh? Why would you have to fly to Paris? Oh, we had to go pick up young Neil. <laughs> <laughs> We're podcasting tonight. That's right. He's like, what? I was like, yeah, I didn't want to get I didn't want to get smashed by logs. Uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the likelihood of me being stuck behind a logging truck on that road are very high. So mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. this is why I'm spending a couple hundred thousand dollars for you to fly me to Terrace <laughs> yeah. and back. Uh, Victor says, what scares me on a real level? People with multiple personality disorder and not knowing it. Oh, that's a definite. Wow. That's a def- How would they not know that? Oh, Undiagnosed? Uh, it's mm-hmm. uh, not, it doesn't impair their decision making. So they could have it not in it not be identified or whatever because it doesn't impair their so they just think talking to themselves is normal oh yeah they're yep. living going to work doing stuff and then like one day they're super cool with you and then the next day they're fucking cunts and then you're like why what it, what the yeah. hell yeah. and that's yeah. it yeah. well isn't that like what's the difference between bipolar and like personality shit the number of personalities yeah. yeah well i know but like how do you know which one's mad bipolar is not necessarily a personality so much as it's a mood yeah. yeah, true. There you go. Okay, so how do they know it's a different personality? Like they have a, a persona, like a name. Some of them do. Some of yeah. them give them yeah. names and, yeah. and have personalities yeah. of their own and then their characteristics. I think it they... just depends on the level of it, right? Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, that is. That can be. I and what is it? What, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, disassociated. Disassociated. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I've heard of that too. Right, so that one's a little bit scary too. So you're gonna disassociate yourself from any extremes that you're you're living through, right? Right. So 
killing somebody is an extreme. And you can disassociate, disassociate yourself from that situation. I think it could right. just not be yeah. present. Yeah. And way, you're present. It's just you're gonna you're gonna disassociate you're the behavior from the feelings from the action. It's like someone could go murder somebody and then go yeah. home and have dinner with their family yeah. and yeah. how's the ball game? Yeah, and they wouldn't they wouldn't know the difference. Is yeah. The right. Another it's, instance it's not, it's not, not it's as not. extreme would be lying. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. believe your lies, like you're telling someone a story and you're full on in it. Yeah, that's a disassociate. Like my twelve year old. Yeah. Like a uh, lot of people. Yeah. It's 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 a it's and it's 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 a it's a very missed diagnosis too. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's it's it can be something very fucking subtle. Right. Until it gets to the point where it's, it's very scary. fucking extreme. It is scary, right? Yeah. These people are running the world. There's a lot of people out there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, have you ever like interacted very briefly with somebody in like a store and you're like just happened like and you start wondering i wonder what, what could be wrong with that person i always think what does the inside of that person's living room look like <laughs> I don't really i've never thought of that you know, on um on breaking bad there they brought in the other scientists to come and help him mm -hmm. uh, cook and oh, and then right he ends up getting shot in his living room and i thought it was so funny like didn't he have a parrot or something like that. He had a like a lizard or. Oh, I thought he had like a was it an ant colony or something, something yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. I just think like you know, there's these people that it just they have this other completely different life than what you know that, of them. That that, you, that is a great vision. That is a great example of disassociative behavior, mm -hmm. right? Because that's a that. <laughs> all right. Man, Cooking I rest, saw a movie like rest, that. And then go home. And then going home playing an instrument and playing with your animals and reading books about like music life is life like you weren't even involved in mm -hmm. the situation have you guys ever seen i don't remember the name of the movie but i think ryan reynolds was in it and like he has this woman's head in a fridge and he talks to her and she's telling him to kill other people but he works at like a bowling alley or something and he's like totally like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then he goes home and he sees his house is so nice but then it flashes to like reality and it's like there's like smells and it's dark and there's rats what everywhere is this movie? Oh, what is this movie? i love it dude that. what ryan reynolds in oh. a head Ryan oh, Reynolds. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, Sarah, you gonna take that is Ryan a Reynolds. that is a pull right there. Sure. Put that up there. It was a good movie too. Ryan, oh, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. How long movie. ago did it come out? Not too long ago. Hang on a second. Huh. But absolutely, that's completely disconnect, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he's got that lady. I, I, I don't think that's. I don't think that's a disconnect. I think that's just a socio. Oh yeah. Well, that's, it's, that's, it's like a. It's on purpose, or they think they're in this world, but then they're really in this other thing yeah i don't i i think that's a world oh world. i know what it is i found it Pops and Shaw. it is called the voices <laughs> it's called the voices <laughs> yes i'm gonna send oh, you guys the trailer right now oh we, we can't we can't we can't watch <laughs> we can't do the trailer thing. well i mean just for your own motherfucking for our own personal oh, okay. yeah send it to the inbox yeah, yeah. But, we'll, we'll but, check that out afterwards. Yeah, but, like, but it's called but, the voices. I okay. think that's a combination of both. Right. Then I think that's a combination of socio a sociopathic tendency with. It was definitely a trip. Like he's chopping some lady up. Like it was. It was definitely straight up psychopathic, man. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. like on Dexter, right? The, but the brother had um, women's bodies in the freezer, and he's like yeah. Hump and Deb in the other room. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's totally it's, a thing. It's a psychopathic sociopathic thing. Yeah. yeah. Right. I, I think like I think I think most human beings have a tendency to float into the sociopathic situation. Right. Where oh, your moral spectrum kind of gets muddled a little bit. Right. Right. I think we all kind of get a little muddled in, on, I think on, that's what the fascination with serial killers and murder and all that yeah. shit is just the Like how far can you press it? Yeah. 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 It's like a fascination with that's part of the psyche. Yeah, what compels some fresh nation exactly. I was, I, I got into that when I was in high school, and I was oh, yeah. like, Yeah, it's just well, you hear curiosity. it a lot too. You hear it a lot. It's 
we would have never thought this. There's no yeah. way this person could have done this. It's the pre. Well, did you guys hear about that bus driver? Sure. That was like he had three girls captive or whatever, and he raped them, and they would have babies and shit. Mm -hmm. And like nobody ever was none the wiser. Like he, they were like, he's a nice guy. He was quiet, but he was nice. Like how many people have you passed in just in passing? And they were like a psychotic psychopath. You know what I mean? I think when, I think when you're a really good psychopath and a really good sociopath, professional right? sociopath, when you're, when you're that, like there is no way of telling, but you, you will find down the string of line mm -hmm. where people are like, okay. Yeah. When they really thought about it, there's like okay yeah there was like this one time where he's a little fucking weird about something and you're like okay yeah yeah right? and then, you start, and then you start cluing in yeah. and really paying attention to the weird shit that he's doing yeah. right whereas then you're like holy fuck yeah but right? on paper in the day to day but like but everybody in the very in the very fucking beginning people are like i i could never see the mm -hmm. he was such a nice guy i was his best friend yeah. and then when people actually really start thinking about it and really started looking into oh, it. Way. Yeah. you know that their best friend was doing and then you're like oh oh wait. oh wait yeah you really start realizing it right like you you see that with like you see that like with the, the golden state killer right but like his bet or, or like some of the people that he was with like his, his wife or his children were like, oh, yeah, he was great. He was great. We no, need to go no, at no, least no. a week without talking about him. Right? No, I know. But, We're um, <laughs> fucking obsessed, dude. But, uh, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just we saying. Are. We have a problem. <laughs> but I'm, just, I'm just saying, though, right? Yeah. Like, with that situation, or, like, there's several other fucking serial killers where they're like, oh, yeah, well, I had no fucking clue. Uh -oh. And then they really, like, well, if they were close to them, then they really start thinking about it. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah. They're like him. Right? It's and just amazing when they were like... Totally you try to profile people when you're in school they're like oh don't talk to that kid he's probably a serial killer or something and he's weird and then like they're just normal day-to-day -day people and it's your soccer coach that killed you know half the fucking football team yeah i was just in science club okay i wasn't trying to murder anyone <laughs> I like friends. It's the perfect cover. Right. I'll never see uh, 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 <laughs> So what's next, you guys? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's get this going. All right. Is it time? You guys ready for a little bit of game show here? Yeah, let's do this. All right. Everybody's all ready now. All right. Well, all right. Uh, before we do this, should I preface this? or? Uh, well, do you want this to be break time? Um... Or do you want to go? I'm going to go straight through it. Okay. okay, why not? Okay. Let's do yeah, this. Let's okay, do so uh, let's preface this before we get into it, before you start getting all crazy on the mixer boards there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> job, by the way. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Sarah, so are you ready to play? Do you say me? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, do you have a pen or something and a notepad? I don't know, do I? Because we're going to have to write answers and <laughs> In show the them to the camera. Craft room? I got like a whole bunch of these index yeah. cards. That works. Okay, and since we have Victor out there in listener land, in Viva land. Victor, do you want to play? Yes, a simple yes or no will suffice, my friend. Don't say fuck no, that's not nice. Yeah, don't say fuck no. Did I say fuck you no? You can say fuck yes, though. Fuck yeah. You can say fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. America, fuck yeah. Here's okay, so we're going to play a little game show tonight. I came up with this. Uh, while I was on the toilet the other day. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with being on the toilet. But... Are you sure? Yeah. Basically. Basically. Uh, it's from Wish. We're all familiar with Wish, a website that sells the most fucked up things in the whole world. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have three, four contestants. All right, that'll be Shante, Duff, Sarah, and if Victor would like to join, Victor as well. Suitor number three, Victor. Okay, Victor, we will. I'm going to inbox you the code to get into the meeting. Oh. Let's have some background music. Yeah, Neil, if you can, not, not the game show music, give us a little something else. Some a little, a little some toe tapperness. What's your favorite jam right now? How you play? Well, actually, we can't even do that. Strawberry is pretty good. <laughs> you sing it. Can you sing your favorite jam for us? <laughs> I gotta think about what you want <laughs> What have I been listening to lately? Yeah, how about we just talk about your favorite jams while I get this? Has anybody ever tried peach jam? 
Do you guys like peach? Of course. Jam? Yes, I have. Do you like peach jam? I do. I do. I tried apple jam. Yeah. Ooh, apple butter, so bomb. Different. Apple butter. It was really sweet. Apple butter jeans, boobs with the fur. Apple butter jelly time. There you go. Apple butter jelly time. Oh yeah. Okay. Apple so butter jelly time. If you're lately, has been uh, punk goes pop. Volume. Oh. I've been listening to volumes one to eight, basically. I'm not sure how to digest that. On, uh, on Spotify. Don't be so judgy, Sarah. I'm not. I, I like hearing heavier versions of popular pop songs. Yeah. Oh, you mean pop goes punk, not punk goes pop? No, it's punk goes pop because it's punk oh. playing it. It's not, uh, you know, pop stars singing punk songs, mm -hmm. which would be pretty cool to see too. Victor, do you have it's Zoom? punk stars being pop songs? It's um, punk, punk pop goes pop punk. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Pop punk goes punk pop. No, I failed. <laughs> Pop punk shows punk pop. Punk pop. Or... Punky poppy puka punk. All right, Victor, check your inbox. Rubber baby buggy bumps. Rubber baby Pick buggy bumpers. Pack of pickle peppers. Pick a pack of pickle peppers. Pick a pack of so, to, did I preface this properly? Okay, so the game no. is uh, based on Wish products. I'm going to show you a picture of a Wish product, Ooh. and you have to tell me what that Wish product is. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. I just can't have I'm going to win. You want to know why? Because of my meme page, I get flooded with all these stupid ass wishes. Yeah, Somebody too. get them up. You remember there was a, a period there a while back where I wasn't <laughs> getting shit for my wish list? And now uh, it's fucking just bombarded. Yes, assless leggings left and right. That's right. I had to grab some of that. You ordered some? Chat. You can get glittery cum condoms. Glittery, glitterly, 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 glitterly. Glittery. I cannot say it. Literally, glitterly, glittery, assless. I leggings. feel like life just started. This is gonna be a great time. I'm gonna keep track of the, <laughs> of the score as well. Too. Okay, right. as as we wait for Victor to jump onto Zoom. Um, excuse me. So I've tried it backwards. Can you guys read this? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, you can do a little try. A trial. 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 What for? So he's going to say, can you read this? Oh, okay, Sarah, did you? Oh, yeah, fuck That's yeah. beautiful, yeah. Like if it was like the right way, I mean. Oh, yeah, it's the right way. Oh, yeah, right way. is it right no, way? No, it's the way? wrong way. It's no, she means like, is it backwards and through somebody's head? No, it's right. <laughs> okay. I I oh, I'm going to have to take my right background through. off. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Because this isn't going to work. Turn your background off. Mm. Nope, you'll just have little right. Jeff Goldblum nipples. You didn't, but that's fine. <laughs> Frank, I don't remember how to do that. You, 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 there you didn't, but it's There's perfectly. no O in Victor. <laughs> Victor. There we go. There's no H on my name, homie. Yeah. <laughs> there is an H in my Everybody. name, but yeah. Chris! You put the H in the wrong place. Oh no, Neil. Oh no. Wrong. You put the H in the wrong place. God damn it, so hide the ball. Like, Shante, S H O N T A Y. You just, like, don't even give any effort to Sarah and says, sure, Shara. <laughs> Sarah, ha! A with an S. Yes. S H A W N T A Y. Shante. S H A T. <laughs> What is that one song called? Breeze Block. Breeze by Blocks. Breeze Blocks by uh, Alternate J. Alt J. Okay. Are we done? Oh, are ready? Oh, okay. Victor, come in. <laughs> oh well, if it's that, if it, if that's the case, yeah. you know, Alt J. Alternate Jackson. I say, it sounds way better. Alternate J. All right. I'm... Alternate Jackson. It doesn't I, even I... do anything <laughs> on the keys. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Nothing happens. Michael Jackson. Maybe that's what they intended. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's supposed to happen. Life's not supposed to happen. Anyways, it's called, it's called Breeze Blocks. Um, you should check it out. It's good. Uh, I caught it on, on Daybreak, which which is on Netflix here in Canada. I don't know if it's out there in the lovely United States. Uh, it's like a... How did you reference it? Daybreak. 
It's like a, a Ferris oh, Bueller's. Ferris Bueller meets uh, Apocalypse Zombie, zombie Land. Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, because because you got the fourth wall breaking with the comedic zombie shit. Jan I still Jackson. haven't watched that. Jan 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 Jackson. Jackson. Nice. <laughs> I win. Beautiful. This is not going to come on. No, don't be that way. Okay, we have somebody in the waiting room, folks. Make sure that you have a shirt on, not pants, though, because nobody needs pants. There he is. Welcome, Victor. Welcome. You are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the show. Sorry. Welcome, iPad. <laughs> His name is iPad. All right. Make sure that you have a shirt on, not pants, though, because nobody needs pants. Ooh, wow. Can I get you to turn your volume down, please? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, it's all good. Okay, welcome, Victor. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, thank you. It, it feels good to be on the world-renowned known F that. Welcome to the greatest podcast in the world. Ever! <laughs> the least? The least? Okay, so let's, we'll preface this again. I don't know if you the heard most it. The game show is called What the Fuck Is It? And you are going to, I'm going to show you pictures of Wish products, and you're going to guess what they are. Now, if you have a pen and paper handy, oh, handy dandy. I got a, I got a handy dandy whiteboard. All right, perfect. You can't say it out loud. Ooh, getting all fancy. You can't say, don't say it out loud. Don't yell the answer out. Just write it down. You'll have. Uh, okay, this, I don't see anything. Seconds. Seconds. You'll, we'll give you thirty seconds 15. to write down your answer. After which we will. Thirty-two. Reconvene. I don't Fair see warning. anything. Perfect amount of time. Well, what do they give him on Jeopardy? They give him a lot of time. <laughs> like a minute. Doo, doo. It's like three um, things of the I'm a little teapot talk. Try 30 for the first 30 round seconds. and see how that goes. Yeah. Are you going to share screen, Malcolm? I'm going to share screen. Mm -hmm. Everyone will be able to see it. We're shy. Okay. Then we're going to go around the table and get your answers. We'll start from what I see here. We'll start from we'll start with Shante, then Sarah, then Victor, then Duff. Okay. I'm not picked last. Who's keeping score? Uh, Nelios. Young Neil's keeping score. I everybody's names. I I I don't trust Neil. Right. <laughs> How the fuck did you spell my name? <laughs> right? Everybody's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I didn't vote on this. On purpose. Okay, good. Yeah, because, right. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you give me a Russian name? <laughs> Victor. His name is Victor. Or Icelandic. His name is iPad. Victor Velichev. Well, I'm iPad. sorry. I'm not all, not all into the high tech <laughs> naming my shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> you push the little I'm button. IPad. Okay. I'm okay, ready. I'm ready. Okay, as soon as Duff gets back to the table, we will start. Did he have to take a shit? No, no, he had to tend to children. <sighs> God, kids. Like, like taking the Browns to the Super Bowl, kids, or? Dropping the kids off at the pool. With bricks. Might as well top her up again. If you have a drink. I was saying windmill a while ago, nobody listened. Windmill? Ooh. Yeah. What did I say? Is it windmill or waterfall? Waterfall. We call that waterfall here in Great I almost want your Dungeons way. and Dragons voice to be like Russian now. Ooh, there you go. That's sexy. You do it so well. Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're changing my accent every game. No, you don't. Okay. My accent's every five seconds in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chris does, but you All don't. Right, let's, uh, shall we get into it then? Let's shall do it. We? Right. Okay, let's hear that. Nope. Almost. <laughs> I wasn't mad at it. That's right. All right. Welcome, everybody, to... What the fuck what is, the fuck is it? it? Woo! All right. Keep that music rolling. I'm joined here tonight with... Uh, we're going to go around the table and get everybody to introduce themselves. Can we start over here, please? Thank you very much. Hello. Next, too. All right. You? Anybody else? Who's next? 
Okay, thank you very much. My name is uh, Victor Tom, and I like long, oh, sandy, windy walks. There, put your crotch away. Please, please, please. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Thank you, and welcome to What the Fuck Is It? The game show where points don't matter, and neither do you. Yay. Hey, hey. It's the happiest game ever. <laughs> this is the Wish Game, brought to you by F This Network. I'm really cutting here. All right, cut the fucking music. Brought to you by Captain Morgan. I'm joined to my left, or to my right here, is the lovely Young Neil. DJ behind the wheels of steel. Dr. Young Neil. <laughs> Ooh, the crowd is a tough crowd tonight. Tough uh, crowd tonight. Rough crowd. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go around the table, and I am going to present everybody with a picture of a oh, wish my product. And you have to guess what that product is. No yelling out the answers. Yelling out will be an automatic disqualification. Get kicked out. That's right. You get kicked out of the meeting. <laughs> smart. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a picture on your screen. All right. So and you have to guess what this is. You get 30 seconds to write down your answer on your paper, after which we will have you show us your answers to the screen. Hold your answer up. Hold your paper up to the screen. How about you practice that right now? Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Does everybody understand? It doesn't matter. Okay, on to the oh, first. Welcome. The first. The first picture. Sorry. First <laughs> question. The first question. The first answer is. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is your first photo. One second. I don't see shit. If it's your wiener, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I'm, I... Just so you know, it's not my wiener. You guys got mad at me for mine. There we go. Here's the first picture. You have 30 seconds to guess what this is starting now. And that's time. All right, so let me just stop sharing the screen here and we are going to go around the table. Let's have everybody show us your answers. All right, so Christopher says fossil teeth. Wrong answer. Shante says finger webs. Also wrong. Sarah, fist pack or toe separator. separator. Words are hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, but she gave you two answers. <laughs> wrong answer automatically makes her lose. That's right. You cannot give more than one answer. Sorry. Well, you didn't say that. <laughs> if, I, if I didn't, if I had to say that, everybody would be like five or six answers. I, yeah, no, I wasn't. I, I, okay, fine. It's a toe separator. <laughs> Wrong. What does Victor say? Victor's. What does Victor say? 2021 eyelashes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, we're all wrong. <laughs> what is it? Okay. Who's the we person? all Sarah, fucking suck. Sarah was. I, I identify myself as right, so. <laughs> the correct answer was toe separators. All right. Wiener, wiener, chicken, Or wiener. one pair, silicone, gel, hallux, valgus, correction, toe separator, foot care, gel, butter, oh. collector, toe separators. Yay, me! <laughs> yeah, but she gave two answers. No. Don't yeah. No. Yeah. Might be a yeah. Loser. She gave two answers. So the first yeah. answer was whatever it was. And then she <laughs> said, toe separator. So no. the wrong answer is her answer. Next. Give the right He's answer right. for you to be correct. Okay, so that's a zero all around for round one, Neil. Ah. Neil. One on technicality. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we following here? Yeah. Everybody? Yeah. All good? Everybody all understands? Right. Okay, are you ready for your next one? Okay, here is the next one. Have a good long look at that. 
pa. <laughs> okay, and you have 30 seconds starting now. Please, please hold your answers until we ask you, Victor. Oh. <laughs> I'll go around the table. Don't worry. And that's all she wrote. Time's up, folks. Okay. <laughs> we'll start with Shante. Wiener friction sock. That is incorrect. Fuck, man. <laughs> How is it not that? Well, do, keep, please keep your answers down. Please keep your answers down. Don't show your answers yet. We're going around the table. Christopher. God, what? Sarah. God. I don't know who Christopher is. Duff, what the fuck is it? Condom. Non-removable. That is also incorrect. A harsh life for the wiener. Okay. It's going to look like a finger that's been stuck in something okay, all wrinkly yeah. after. So I'm winning over here. Okay, Sarah, what is the answer? What the fuck is it? Dick puller. <laughs> <laughs> Simple and straight to the point. Okay. I like it. That is also incorrect. God damn it. I was like, I was rooting for you there, Sarah. I was going to say dick stretcher, but I was like, maybe he just wants to pull it, though. Stretch dicker. <laughs> Stretch dicker. <laughs> Victor, what is your answer? Sheepskin cock extender. Jesus. So, 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 this, so Ow. Specific. <laughs> that is also incorrect. <laughs> All right. Okay, the correct answer was... Portable, interactive, relaxation, toy, super soft, material, lasting, trainer, exerciser. Did you right. mean it's flying? Let and you see. thought mine was specific? Like, is there a shorter answer for that fucking thing? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta write this down. It's an exercise. Can, can we talk about the penis flying? Let your penis yeah. fly? Let your penis fly. Let your penis fly. Just so everyone that's knows. Everyone. That's it. That's the no. That right there is the episode title. Let your penis flying. Oh, I know. I wrote it down. Girl. <laughs> Let your penis flying. <laughs> Look at the way he's tugging on it. Wow, it's so professional. And for at one point, I thought he had it in his mouth. Can you imagine your arm going that far out? I think it is in his mouth. And it's slipping out of your hand. That's that's what you call a full extension. Oh, what if it slipped off his dick and hit him in the face? Yeah, fuck your boner today, bye. Relax. Oh, I really don't even had a boner. You that put point. your balls in there too. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little I, no sign. Like your, no balls, no you head. No. In there as well. I think so. <laughs> All encompassing. Both All ways. encompassing. All right. So do you have to shave for that or what? <laughs> oh, wait. He wants a shorter name for it. Okay, hit the game show. Let your game dick fly. The score. All right, young Neil, where are we sitting at with scores here? Sarah with one. Nobody's winning. <laughs> Nobody's we're, winning. We're at the same spot. I had to cross out Sarah's point because of the technicality. Look at guys. You guys are haters. <laughs> okay, thank you, Neil. All right. Okay, are you ready for Everyone the next round? Everyone not watching is real dumb. Right? <laughs> Everyone who's not here right now is stupid as shit. Okay, are you ready for the next one, I folks? Am. Here we go. Yeah. Boom. There it is. Laura's going to be... Oh. We'll give you a couple oh. of seconds to have a good look at it before I start the timer. God damn it. What the fuck? I know what the fuck that is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. The timer starts now. Man, I can't even think of what that could be. It looks like a fishing lure, but then again, it looks like... I don't know. What would you put in that? I want to say it's a fishing lure, but... <laughs> Stop saying fishing lure. <laughs> <laughs> fishing lure. That's time. 
Please put out your pens. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, a good yeah. long look at that. Yeah, Thirty seconds is a decent amount. Well, of we'll time. go around the table. We'll start with Shante. What was your answer? Can you see that at home, folks? Nipple massager. Yeah. A nipple massager. <laughs> she is right. Holy smoke! Okay, we Yay! Because have... I said the uh, same thing. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You cannot change your answers, please. Changing your answers right now will be an automatic disqualification. Who else said it? Myra. Duff, what's next? Please refrain from holding your answers up. What? Well, I <laughs> thought it was over. Booby stimulator. Booby stimulator. Technically, that's kind of right. Yeah. Well, no, boobies like the whole the whole thing. Is it just for the nipple? Maybe she has small the, boobies. The kitty is it's just the, That was the incorrect. Tip. Sorry. Mm. Nipple Ooh. tickler and enlarger? Okay. It's one enlarger. <laughs> okay. So it's a boobie Sarah, stimulator. You stimulate the nipple Sarah? to make it erect. What? Uh, technicality, I won. <laughs> What's your answer, Sarah? It says nipple tickler and enlarger. <laughs> it's true. That's what happens simultaneously. Yeah. Right. She is right. Hit the bell. Remember the bell. Yeah. No, hit the bell. Hit the bell. No booing. We're not booing you. <laughs> Yay for vaginas. Hey, Victor. What's your answer? Those suction cups that swim more guy used. Swim <laughs> Swimmer guy. Swimmer guy. You know that, that, Sorry, that, that is... gold medalist from Swimmer the Americans? Guy. Oh, that, that swimmer guy. Um, yeah, see, you knew what I was talking about. Michael Phelps. <laughs> There's the correct yeah. answer. Michael Phelps used, um, wow. Electric oh, it is the whole booby. Nice well, there's no reference. It's... Um, Can I just, can I say that it specifically says enlarger? Enlarger. Enlarger is the key. But it also says massage. It also says massage. Yeah. Well, then I get two double, like a point and a half. <laughs> what? No, you get the exact answer, which is one point. That's right. Which isn't massaging stimulation? Go to bed. So don't I get a half? <laughs> All right, we're going to give him a half. Give Del half yeah, a half. that's a good idea. He deserves at least a half. Yeah, fucking right, I deserve that. <laughs> All right, here's the score now after two rounds. Music. Oh, um, one full point. <laughs> so two people get one full point, <laughs> and I get half. <laughs> you guys understand I'm going to fucking argue technicality the whole fucking time, right? We know. We know. We know. Uh, Again and again. This is a fun game. I'm glad it's that you've so done good. this, Malcolm. Okay, we're waiting on Shante. Mm -hmm. Keep that music rolling. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad so that you Victor. took a jump and thought of this. So, Victor, on a scale of um, 1 to 10, yeah. 10 being the worst, 1 being the best, how the fuck are you? Oh, well, I should listen to the whole question. I'd say about a, like, a, like a 4. You're 4? <laughs> yeah. 4 is pretty good. Four it's like, is good. It's like it's like the fairway. Yeah, I feel like you're four, not hit, you're not hitting the rough. You're not hitting the fringe. You're pretty on the fairway. Four, you just rub one out in the shell. I don't even have a fringe. Find yourself off yeah. now, right? Yeah. yeah. Fairway. Well, the, the rubbing out part's not the hard part. It's when you like get to that point when you you know the COVID weight starts fucking with you, wiping your ass, and you can't really reach around and you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You need a, what are they called? A bidet then. A bidet. Everybody needs a bidet. Wash your butt. Who's the yeah. day? Who is she? Who's she cleans her ass very well. She's a butt scrubber. She squirts up your ass. She so blows on your booty hoe. You it sprinkle tushy. kisses on your anus. I think so. Tushy. Better than fairy kisses. Better than than water kisses. Better than water kisses. Salt water kisses? <laughs> no, the water poop cat. water kisses. <laughs> It's Neptune kissing your okay. ass. Is everybody kisses. I like it. <laughs> Is everybody ready for the next one? Write that down. Neptune kisses. I'm going to. I put saltwater kisses. You guys haven't heard of Neptune kisses? Potential title. Oh, I thought it was Poseidon kisses. 
Poseidon kisses? Yeah. I no. These are all new, like, but I like the it. poop hits the water and the water oh. comes up and touches your butt. Okay, let's hear let's have our next our next uh wish list. Wish. Here goes. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it gives the direct dimensions of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that you had a look, let's start the timer. Gentlemen, ladies, what the fuck is it? No showing the no answer, Trey. That's why I don't show your answer until I ask you. So it's You shouldn't say who's right, Malcolm, until we've all shown it. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Somebody's erasing ooh. Yeah, at the same time. I really don't even give a fuck if I'm wrong on this one. <laughs> and at the end, we can say survey says. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom. Okay, now that we've had a look at it, let's go back to our contestants. This is, this is, okay, okay, I, I was just going to say this. This is, this is how serious Shantae is about this. Okay, this is like she's back in high school or grade school or fucking middle school. She's hiding what she's <laughs> writing down from everybody else at the fucking table. All right, this is my wife, okay? This is what she was like in high school. She rose her hand for all the right answers because she knew them. I gave them. Okay. Yes, and Shantae, were you ever there for Challenge Bowl? Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's start with Shantae. Me too, baby. Dude, I just put necklace. <laughs> Necklace. That's it. Okay, Duff. What? Is, what the fuck is it? Giant dick massager. I knew he was using that. Ball pincher. Yes, Sarah, what the fuck is it? Massager thing. <laughs> With authority. You see the exclamation mark? Uh huh. She wasn't fucking around. Hey, Victor. <laughs> what the fuck is it? <laughs> oh, Lola cock ring. Dude, what if that's what? Ow! What exactly? <laughs> he owns one. Isn't it like sixteen inches around? That's exactly yeah. what stopped me from my original guess. <laughs> I wasn't reading dimensions. I just seen that and just went for the first thing in my head. <laughs> Take a look. It's like one of those Kobala bracelets that douchebags used to wear back in two thousand. Kobala bracelets. That was twenty yeah. years ago. Okay, let's take a look at what this is. Oh, curtain tire backer thingy. Buckle. I didn't even think of that. Curtain clips. We didn't either. Of course it is. Nobody got it right. Yay! I think I think I should get a point just on mine being funny. <laughs> I think he should get half a point. Oh, we're going to bring it to the judges, I guess. It's a curtain necklace. <laughs> A ball of cock ring. No, that was you could totally massage that curtain if you wanted to. Yeah, but isn't that what a, a isn't that what a giant's dick is called? A fucking dick? curtain. Giant. Curtain. We're not waxing semantics tonight, folks. <laughs> I will all night. What do you call a giant's dick? A curtain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wax Shantae's semantics. Stop okay. It. Oh. Are you ready for the next one, contestants? Yes, this is fun. Not really, but let's okay. go. I shut your mouth because you're losing. Here you go. I don't even care. I'm having fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chris, uh. <laughs> hmm. The fuck is that? that okay, like. we'll let you have a good look at it. And we start the timer. God damn it. I'm going to lose this one. Uh, fucking hate you guys. There's no measurements on there. How do you know what it is? All right, put down your pens. <laughs> Okay, now that you've had a chance to have a good look at this, let's go around the table. Starting with Shantae, what the fuck is it? 
Golf club sock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Golf. Your answer, please. Your ass. Our ass? It looks like a penis. My you ass. Can't see the <laughs> Whose ass? Your ass. <laughs> All right, Sarah. It's so fucking fuzzy. What the fuck is it? Cleaning slippers. Okay. There's like six there. <laughs> They're different colors. Six Do you feet. have six feet? All right. Six different colors. Go sit in the corner. Go sit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put baby in the corner. All right, Victor. What the fuck is it? Shower rug. Hmm. That, that is the world's smallest oh, shower rug. There's no dimensions. Off with? All right. <laughs> Neil, let's go to the score. Oh, oh, sorry, okay. no, not the score. Let's go to the answer. Here we go. Let's... Oh! You did it. Two-piece, mop, slippers, lazy, quick house, floor polishing, dusting, cleaning, foot socks, shoes, lovers, suits, colors, random. <gasps> That's a mouthful. For only $4.67. Yeah, but when you order them, they're going to be like for a doll. Give Sarah a point. They're going right. to be for your fucking chihuahua. You guys can't <laughs> yeah. fuck me on that one. No. Can't fuck you. Who wants to fuck you with that one? Well, it's, it's been a while, so I think, I think it's oh. going to be okay. Oh. There's one hand that went up over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I get a cricket sound, please? It could, tic it could tickle. Because <laughs> fucking goddamn. You might, you might start a fire down there. Music. This season scores here. All right. After 12 rounds of... Who fucks my half a point for being funny? Oh, yeah, that's right. You see, that's why I didn't want him as a judge or the first scorekeeper. Discrimination, man. One half point for Victor. Sarah gets two minus one for profanity. <laughs> what? No! I think, I think mine says 12 points, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> mine also says 12. Me and, mine yeah. says 24. Me and Duffaluckus are fucking tied. Yes. That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Are you ready for the next round? So ready. Here we go. Shante, so ready. Here is your picture. <laughs> You're right. My face froze that way. Oh, uh, no. That's uh, I know, I know what that is. I just ordered one. <laughs> we don't want to know what you do in your free time. Start the timer. What the fuck is it? Is that like that almost looks like a, a, a arm there that you can wear? You know? <laughs> Whoa. You leave your 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 chest exposed. <laughs> your boobs hang up. Your boobs hang up. <laughs> it's the, it's the costumes from uh, what's that? Shante's movie. <laughs> All right, stop the music. Put your fucking pens down. You have one last good look at it. Specifically, okay. anywhere. <laughs> bless you. Can I bless you? Can I put it down? What? Like Somebody sneeze? I mean, excuse me. <laughs> All right. All right, contestants. Shante, what the fuck is it? Face mask. You copy. <laughs> right, copy your ass all day. All right, Duff, what the fuck is it? Mask. Cosplay mask. Okay. Next, Sarah. Face mask. And of course, Victor. Who heels for a horse? <laughs> you must own a horse. A horse, of course, of course. Oh, okay. Sarah, we almost jinxed. <laughs> Whoops. Again, pinch puck, yummy a cock with some bucket. God, yummy cock. Somebody wants a fucking cookie. Okay, let's go to the answer. I could use one right now. Look at my face. <laughs> Told you. Um, reusable face shielding protective face mask. Why does it look like a jock strap? 
an athletic supporter. That's because it is. Mm. For only six dollars Canadian, you can be the proud owner. Canadian. Of an eyeless <laughs> face shield. Of a mask. All right. As long as they have a dick attached to their face, Squidward would love that shit. Everybody but Victor gets a point for that round. Thank you. Poor Victor. Victor. Racist. Victor is a player. Victor Crum. I'm just here for the comic humor. <laughs> comedic support. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready, contestants, for the next yes. round? Always. Always ready. Here we go. Thickness. Portable thickness. Have a good look. <laughs> Do you guys need portable thickness? Portable thickness. And no, it's not a dick envelope. Oh, no. Is it a vagilope? <laughs> Please be specific. Envelope will get you nothing. Dick envelope. And we start the timer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this eggnog is lovely. <laughs> is it hitting that spot? It's hitting the right spot. Did Stay you up. ever get your pumpkin spice thing from DQ? Yes, thank you to Duff. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. all she wrote. Please put down your pens. And, and penises. Your smiles. Put on your dick. Okay, we're going around the table starting with Shantae. I'm laughing because I wrote C wrong. Plastic see through paper enveloper. Enveloper? Enveloper. <laughs> Minus one point for adding an R at the end. <laughs> hey. All right, Duff, what the fuck is it? Business card wallet. That's what they call your butt. That's what they call your mom. Sarah just smirked at you. Prison wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I know what my butt is called. It's not called your mom. All right, Sarah. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Oh, me? Oh. The other Sarah behind you. <laughs> the other Sarah in Money the room. holder thing. Money holder thing. <laughs> Victor's shaking his head. <laughs> There's a corner. I am in like nothing but corner. He's in a closet. Hey, Victor, what is. <laughs> hey, Victor. Hey, Victor, Victor got acid <laughs> envelope. Acid envelope. Nice. Vagilope. 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 Acid envelope. He used the word. I didn't even use the word. Okay. Negative. <laughs> All right, let's go to the end. I didn't use the word either. Use the word. It's a mask bag. Oh, oh. Bag. fucking COVID. Everyone was wrong. Minus one thousand points for everybody. Yes. Sarah, go sit in the Welcome. corner. Fucking put baby in that corner. I don't want to go to the corner. That was beautiful. Everything. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody, for turning up tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's over. The music, and let's go to the scoreboard. We're still going. Okay. <laughs> Turn go. up for what? Turn up for what? There it is. It's a quite different now. All so right. we have Shante <laughs> with negative 999 points. <laughs> like Sarah it. with negative 997 points. Oh. Victor with negative 999 <laughs> and a half. Still winning. Still winning. Chris with negative 998 and wow. a half points. Ooh. Tied. Tied. Ooh. It's a tight race. Me and, and Duffelophagus are still it's tight. Like, like Toyga. That's what she said. <laughs> what do they call it? Nose and nose? Nose to nose? Nose, nose and nose? And nose? No, I have the oh, less. Oh, ask the mouth. Ask the mouth. Never, never ask the mouth. Sometimes in the heat of passion, it's okay to go ask the mouth. Yes. You weren't even supposed to be here today. <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready for Somebody the next round? should have swallowed you. I said Ooh, I'm ready for the next round. We're ready. Yes. Yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Wait, this is the next round. I got to change my color. Just got to go change your change underwear. Your underwear. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey. Hey, yo. 
you guys wish. I'm not even wearing any underwear. That's right. Ooh. Tell oh, them. Good Change something then because it's all wet. Oh. All right, here we go. Next round. Why are my eyes like that? Oh my <laughs> god. Oh. Is that another COVID thing? <laughs> what the fuck is it? Hmm. My pen sucks. It's a mask for for your testicles. It's to like prevent your testicles from getting COVID nineteen. <laughs> they can get COVID seventeen now, so be careful. You could very well be a masticle. A masticle. You know, it's it's a mask for your boss. All right, contestants, put on your pens. Oh, take some egg put game shit. Put on the pens. Okay. Starting with Shantae. What the fuck is it? Full breast bra. Say that with your best friend. Five times. Oh, it's fast. For people with mosquito bites. <laughs> Four, Fox. <laughs> I have mosquito bites, but I have a reaction to Duff, what the fuck is it? Yes. <laughs> All right, Sarah, you're next. Invisible, I, bra. invisible bra. Sorry, my marker was kind of dry. It's for Wonder Woman. Am I right? <laughs> and Victor, last but not least. Only when she's in the jet. Yeah. Madonna, new bra. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. So I imagine the other ones are a little more like. Can you, know, can you Vogue for us? No Vogue? Okay. Fair enough. Okay, folks. Vogue. Let's go to the answer. I Vogue for you. Fuck you. Formas de senos de silicona turn vestida triple. It is fake tits. I wrote down silicone too. and It is a transvestite bra. Tranny bra. Oh, you know, I, wrote I, wanted, I wanted to say that, but I didn't want to be politically incorrect. <laughs> Nobody was right. I should have wrote trans I wrote trans best. Oh, well, I think Shantae was right. right. I put tits. Faux I said bra. faux breast bra. Yeah. I said bra. Enough a point, See, you? I said it in English. They said it in Spanish. <laughs> same shit. So it's it's the same thing. <laughs> I knew I should have wrote transvestite. $28.92. Transvestite. Transvestite bra. Tranny bra. It's just transvestites, guys. Tranny bra. Christ. Transvestites. That would have been great. Write it down. Ah, Write triple it. points for transvestites. Write it down. Transvestites. <laughs> All right. <laughs> transvestments. Are you ready for the next ready? round? That's an asset, ready. I think. Am I ready? Oh. Okay, yeah. here we go. Malcolm, she's calling. Boom. Mm -hmm. Oh. There you go. Wow. I'll give you a couple of seconds to soak it in. Oh. All right, contestants, what the fuck is it? I want to say that's like a weird ass razor for your weird ass. Shut up, Neil. You're not even playing. I'm throwing you off your game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, I don't know, it shreds something. Shredder? <laughs> It's a dick shredder. <sighs> That's the meat drape tenderizer. Did you say meat tenderizer? Meat drape tenderizer. It's a lip tenderizer? Did you tenderizer? <laughs> yeah, it probably could. It's a, it's a, a lip equalizer. Okay. It's a Hannibal That's edition. Okay, what the fuck looks. is it? Woman's shave. Woman's shave. Really, guys? Woman's shave. Oh. 
Wormers? Wormers. It's supposed to say women shaver. I guess I forgot it in. Uh, <laughs> what the? Mine is one for misspelling your own gender. <laughs> fuck you. It's got to be automatic disqualification. Get gotta... the fuck out of here. <laughs> Duff, what the fuck is it? Don't say woman. Shaver. <laughs> shaver. Her. What did you say? <laughs> Say what? Wombs. Wombs. Shaver. Somebody's the brand. Somebody's womb is gonna get shaven. Womb shaver. That baby's gonna be squeaky clean. All right. So it's just it's just referring referring to the gender. Okay. Shaver. Wombs. Sarah. What the fuck is it? Automatic. Automatic too easy. Nice. Put your kneecaps. <laughs> hey, Victor. Put your knuckles. What the fuck is it? <clears throat> Circa hair puller. You're getting mighty specific. Didn't it say the name on it? That's why I, I just see the name on her, so I was like, it's got to be one. He's trying to get points by putting it on Oh, yeah. It had the brand name on it. <laughs> yeah, it did. Like, what? It did. It did. It had the brand name on there. Bro. Foregoing the brand name. <laughs> <laughs> I should get a point for that. The brand name doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> Minus point. All right, let's go to the answer. Electric hair remover. Well, Epilator. Oh. All right. For women, rechargeable hair removal machine, electric lady shaver, bikini body mix. <gasps> so we're all. I mean, I, I did say hair pullers. So. What are two Canadians? To pull. To Look pull is removed. 2234 from 23. <laughs> no, they get your ass on the shipping, too. Well, it'll probably be Save like your ass 60, on the shipping. six cents shipping, maybe. <laughs> $50 shipping. $80 shipping. You're better off pulling it out. Mm. With your fingers. With your teeth. <laughs> he All does. Right. This one is going to be very difficult. Oh, shit. Are no you ready, one. contestants? So nobody won that one? Everyone did. I won, I won that one. Points? Give uh, no, five. me. Five points? <laughs> For being beautiful. Thank You're you. all Thank lovely you. today. Beautiful. Discrimination again. <laughs> Races. Give Victor one more point for being extra beautiful. Yes. Okay. What the fuck? I just got a haircut. Nobody said nothing. Can we get ugly point? We can forward. His points. wife didn't even notice his haircut today. No, uh, I noticed your haircut. It's okay. It was in his pants. Contestants, are you ready for the next round? Neil, let's go. How do you know I'm not wearing pants? I'm not. It just oh, looks like a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Again, another reason why I didn't want Neil being the score guy. That's why so Neil. We have Shante with negative nine hundred and ninety-four and a half points. We have Sora with negative nine hundred and ninety-five points. We have Victor with nine hundred and Victor points, and then we have Chris with negative nine hundred and ninety-eight points. I'm right. so happy winning right now. Beautiful. Thank Look, you. you guys, I'm winning! No, it's hey. telling me. The Who knows? Is winning. <laughs> Victor is the winner. Hey, Victor. Yeah. I said at the beginning, I identify myself as a winner right off the bat. You guys got fuck all on me. <laughs> Your voice reminds me of Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some lasagna, bitch. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, contestants, are you ready for the next round? Wait, Bill Murray? Yeah. He voiced, nice. He no, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Bill Murray. We have Bill yeah. Murray's It was Lorenzo Music or some shit. We like should that. stop. Stop doing that. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay, folks. Stop it's just because you're losing. Let's go to I'm the next round. I'm, oh, Laura's going to be showing up soon. There we go. Are you ready? I keep doing this. Shut the fuck up. Talk about Bill Murray in my presence. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that... All right, have you had a look? Here we go. What the fuck is it? I was just looking at this the other day. <laughs> Not right. to purchase. So I'm going to say it's some sort of glue. It's totally like... Or maybe it's like a moisturizer for your hands that you put a whole lot of. 
Oh, you're Young a dick. Got 5,000 points from your score for giving away the answers. Negative 5,000 <laughs> points. All right. <laughs> All right, contestants, put down your pencils. I have a pen. I have a marker. We two points from Shante <laughs> for getting semantic again. <laughs> Fucking getting smart getting with that math. Getting what? Getting smart? Because she has negative points and then a negative. Oh, wow. So she gets <laughs> positive points. That's I right. know. I'm getting closer and closer to zero every time. She is. That's right. Don't worry. The next round is going to be worth 5000 Remember, we got to let her win or she'll get mad. I win that, I'll be the winner. Murder. <laughs> All right, folks. Dante. She's what's got it? that Karen look. Vagina lube. Did I spell the words right? <laughs> Virginia lube. Virginia lube. <laughs> Virginia lube. Virginia. No, what the fuck is it? <laughs> Something to do with the vag. Lube. The bag. The bag. And he drew a picture of a pear. Oh. It looks like a squash. It does look <laughs> like a squash. Yeah, it looks Butternut like squash, people. Nut butter squash. Let's guess what he drew. <laughs> 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 Bonus points if you can guess what he drew. Oh, Sarah, what the fuck is it? Oh, I'm going to guess. Oh, it's a pear. It's a pear. Oh, 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 it's a Hey, Victor. Slime ellipsis. 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 Last night's activity. Last night's activity. That gave us all a stroke. Thank you very much for that. It gave him a stroke, too. <laughs> a stroke? <laughs> I had to push him away for doing that. Get it? A stroke. All right, folks, let's Get go to the it. correct answer. <laughs> Human lubricant. Oh, it's made out of human. Made from it's humans. Made from humans. Oh, no, there's like it's glare on there. It says hummus. <laughs> it's hummus lubricant. Oh, take a look at that viscera. Told you. What did I say? Six dollars. This lovely bottle can be yours of so pre-owned lube. Who the fuck knows what's in that I would like to say that I did. I did say that. Yeah, but you scratched it out. I would like to say that I initially thought that. <laughs> the whole thing. It out and said slime. If, okay, if you guys knew my last night activity, activity, it would have been. No, 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 no. It's, it's for aesthetics. Look, I even do polka dot. Prosthetics. <laughs> Minus two from Sarah for crossing her name out or crossing out the answer. I did it, but it was the right oh, answer. So plus kidding. three. Yay. The plus one for Victor for you know, being creative. Victor's right, too. Yeah. Because, uh, like I said, last night's activities, if you were there, you would have known it was human loop. I was there, and it was violent. You would have known it was human. stretch squish. was a foot away from his body, like it in the photo. It was squishy, and it was smelly. I felt threatened. I tried, tried taking him in. He didn't want it. I feared for my life. <laughs> Negative 9,000 to Malcolm. Oh. oh. You heard that, Neil? Mark it down. Negative 9,000 to Malcolm. <laughs> okay, folks, this next round is for 5,000 points. For yes. all the nuts. Don't worry, we still have more rounds. Oh, for only half the nuts. <laughs> and we've got 10 squares. That's right. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. Have a look. <gasps> what the look. fuck? Exactly. All right, contestants. Are we going now? Yeah. Oh. I'm done. Bonus points for being done first. I'm always done first. That's good. I'm glad. You need to be done first. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to write backwards anymore because I pretty much Hurts. hurt my brain on the last one. <laughs> Kill it. Okay, folks. <laughs> okay, starting with Shantae. What the fuck is it? Shoelace tips. T 
Tips, not tits. The tip. Just, Just the, tip. the tip. Just a wee tip, lot. All right, Duffelophagus. What the fuck is it? <laughs> A squared plus B squared equals oh, asshole squared. That I failed. A. The answer is A. A. That's right. Well, you got to find A. Solve for A. Exactly. Sarah? What the fuck is it? Your wrong answer, please. I can tell you. <laughs> I was gonna say beads, but I don't know. I think this one. Yeah. It's Trust the beads ex- that Dante uses. Hey Victor. Hey it. Victor. 3D printer palettes. Okay. 3D printer <gasps> palettes. Oh. They don't come in palettes though, do they? Sarah's the <laughs> printer pro. She is. She has a printer at home. Printing those dildos. <laughs> Printing oh. Manuel. 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 Okay. There it is. 3D printing dildos. <laughs> 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 what? You were looking. What is it? There it is. 3 <laughs> printing dildos. Okay. Here goes. Okay, contestants, here is your answer. There'll be too many sharp edges. Adjustable oh, fucking COVID shit. Silicone cord locks non slip. Stopper lanyard toggle. buckable. Silicone shit, toggle, damn it. So I solved for A? For masks, for your mask. For mask. Oh, I yeah, negative. I know. I said beads. Right here in the corner. Mm-hmm. They're A cinchers. Yeah. They're cinchers. I say a negative mask. million points to you guys for bringing up COVID shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring up anything. All right. Nobody got points on anyone. I should have got something for being that creative. (laughs) Solve for A. That's right. No. Okay. Dildo printer. (laughs) We're waiting for Shantae to return. God, Shantae always running away. Hey, Neil. What happened there? Hey, Neil. What's up? Still don't like you scoring, keeping. Go and check Shantae's. Mike, from? You're doing awesome. That's you. Oh, oh, new, new paper without telling us. How do we know what the scores were from previous right. events? Okay. Whoa. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> You fuckers still have to wait. Is she going pee? Oh, that's hey, Malcolm. 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 I hear you. You gotta do after me. Waterfall. But I'm out late. I'm out. Okay. Well, I guess quality break time. <laughs> always, <laughs> always problems. Never problem go. solvers. Woo. <laughs> All right. NoobTube is streaming Call of Duty Black Sabbath. Sub- Black Ops Cold War tonight. Cold fucking angry. <laughs> All right, we're about to reconvene for round, I don't know, 12, 13. Or do the wave. Do Doesn't the wave. Just two of us. <laughs> it's all we need. Do the wave. I think we did it. 
We did good. Africa's missed it. Oh, he's gone again. I'm getting eggnog wasted here. Every last drop. Good Holy to the shit. last drop. Why aren't you fucking blacked out drunk yet? I don't know. What happened last year? I'm a big kid now. Oh. He's, 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 he's got the Dom DeLuise blackout sweats. He's, he's right on the verge. I heard Dom DeLuise. Ooh, that's you, got the, you got those on the verge blackout sweats going. That's right. Me, me too. On. Only, only had one of these and this, you know, I'm in the same boat. All right. We are back. Sarah, can you please stop looking so goddamn unimpressed all the time? That's the Karen look. I was pouring vodka. She's happy. Leave her alone. Yeah. Can you imagine if that's how, like, sex looked, too? Just all, like... Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys would never come with us. Just fucking... Not once. Just... Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We got nightmares, daymares, <laughs> daymares, well, fucking PTSD so from that shit. I can think of a lot of different places I'd rather be than right here, right now. <laughs> I can find a bottle of water that's better than this. Right <laughs> Are you ready? Welcome back. Some of that stuff. Welcome back. What the fuck is it? Because goddamn, that pH balance is good. <laughs> Minerals. Oh, the only scientist in the room that got the joke, huh? Young Neil, give him the lowdown on his score right now, please. All right, guys. Here we are. Zero. Victor's Zero. winning. Zero. I hope everybody can read it. So we no. have Shanti. With Little Shanti. <laughs> I like how the spelling changes. Shanti. <laughs> Negative 988 and a half points. All right. And we have Sora with negative 990 points. That's bullshit. And then That's we okay. have Victor okay. with negative 987 and a half points. Yeah, but... And then we have Chris with negative 988 points. Who's winning? Um, Victor's winning. Like it's Victor. With yeah, eight, see? Right? By one point. You didn't even go here. <laughs> and then Neil and Malcolm are tied for last with negative, uh, farts, <laughs> negative five thousand points. So I believe negative this. five thousand farts. No, 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 negative a million five thousand. Because he's bringing biter. up COVID <laughs> shit. A sheep biter. <laughs> oh please! All right, kill give the music. Give it to me. Give it to me. Baby. Contestants, are you ready for the next round? Never. Yeah. What do you like, Dot Baby? Right. All right. Here we go. Do we have to? We do. Whoa. This is a self explanatory picture. I know, right? That's easy. Yeah, it's your weed grinder so she can watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have some music. Contestants, what the fuck is it? Stash your weed in it. This picture's like, oh, it was accidentally right. in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, you can put it in there and wash your clothes with cannabis and get that nice, fresh. It's a Pokeball. It's a Pokeball. That for a All right. Everyone's had a good look at it. That would not keep your weed. Please fresh. put down your pens. But it make your clothes Where do we put it down? Put it down on your table. Do you have a table? If you don't have a table, please put it down on your lap. Make sure you put the cap on first. Okay. Okay. Now, shall, let's start with Shante. Shante, what the fuck is it? What? Uh, and Lent paper and paper for a washing machine. Collectors. Lent? Like uh, 40 days and 40 nights of did I spell it wrong? Yeah, it's Lent. Well, fuck me. <laughs> I will. 
don't charge, I went to don't the charge me with a good Come time. Man. I'll do it. <laughs> Jesus is happy. Plus five to points to Shante for effort. Thank you. Uh, nice. Duff, what the fuck is it? Crack cleaner. Crack <laughs> <laughs> crack pipes. <laughs> five thousand for Malcolm forever. Oh, that brings me back to zero. No, you're still negative a million. Sarah? What the fuck is it? Is it a clack cleaner? Plus one for that nice pipe drawing. Washing machine, jump catcher. Washing machine, Misty. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk? I, can't I cannot talk. 5,000 more too points much for Malcolm out. for trying. Mm. By, by junk, do you mean genitalia? Washing machine. Stuff. You say it's Why weird? would your junk be in the washing machine, though? Because it Cause needs to be dirty. clean, obviously. We don't know how the male anatomy works. We can't Look at these broads fucking sitting here and eating at the same goddamn time. <laughs> I bet your balls don't smell like fucking sensey balls, mind you. Yeah, we can't like. I heard balls. Back. We can't throw yeah. our balls in the wash. It's been a while. Instead of all throwing now them in there, just, we can't just, just sit on top of that. I should be able to sit on it, man. Just take our boobs off and put them in the wash. Hey, Victor, what the fuck is it? Lint catcher or pocket garbage catcher? Which is it? You don't get to pick two. Ooh. Well, then lint catcher. Okay. Oh, you like lint. It's the first answer. I'm going to stay with it. That's right. I didn't know Victor was so soft spoken. <laughs> He's so harsh with his language in the room. Okay, here's the answer. Washing machine wool filtration hair removal device. Oh, hair it's for removal. So you remove have... dog hair. We were all right. Cubes. <laughs> I again revert back to the junk. Ten thousand points to everybody. <laughs> Except us. Except me. I just drew a crack pipe. <laughs> but you got extra points for drawing. The shit out of some fucking Indian food right now. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I said last night. <laughs> what kind of Indian food? Indian. And you know what? You know what? The best description is for that uh, is when I tell my friends that I work with, I say, uh, "I am this type of Indian, West. not this type of Indian." India? The dot or the feather. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. general terms. Hey, it's only okay when we say it, okay? Minus five yeah. points to Sarah for getting rich. Yeah, no, fuck you, Malcolm. You're half white. Oh, calm white. down, Trump. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll was, do it, Neil. He said just like, kidding. seriously asking about she's, the region that our she, Indian food came from. She's, she's <laughs> turning <laughs> orange like a super saiyan. Yeah, because, because there's a difference. Yeah, there's a difference. Yeah, I know what curry is, you dickhead. What? What about curry? I know what curry is. What is curry? Like Stephen Curry? No. <laughs> Tim Curry. You can do like, it's yellow. It has curry and other spices in it. <laughs> That's racist. We call them Chinese. <laughs> All right. So, keep on moving. Let's go. Okay. All right, contestants, are you ready for the next round? The definition of curry is just a mixture of spices. Okay, here we go. Crack my head. Ready? Ooh, my face. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you were going to pick this one. You were hoping for it? That's not fair. She knows the answer. Okay, <laughs> contestants, and get your answers ready. What the fuck is it? Oh, I didn't pull my paper. All right. I didn't even look at it. So I want to say that's like, you know, uh, uh, you, you put it in a maple tree to get syrup out. <laughs> <laughs> Except you can put it in any tree to get syrup out. <laughs> it enables you to get syrup out of any tree. Dude, you can put it in my it. ass and get maple syrup out of me. Right. Put it in my ass. Oh, Just because. You guys are all Canadian. I bet you it all worked. It'll be syrup. All I'm right, contestants, put down your pens. Drop your socks and grab your cocks. Okay, grab your heels and start your squeals. Mm. Okay. These are the reasons why I love these people. Starting with Shante, what the fuck is it? Finger, finger bang. banger. So you can finger bang her. Your way. Your way. I was going to say for your life. 
Finger bang. Finger bang. Bang bang. Finger finger bang. Finger bang. I'm gonna bang, finger bang you. Finger wing. Finger bang your way into my heart. <laughs> Isn't that how song is? That's catchy. So like a finger bang like bang. Sounds like way. Arizona. No, it's um South Park. Duff. What the fuck is it? Sounds like Arizona. Oh, your video cock froze. Ring. Oh, cock ring. Cock ring. It's one hell of a ring. Tom Cock ring. That's, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. Maybe her. It's like a 90 degree pipe extender almost. <laughs> <laughs> so you oh, yeah, English on it. Do you want it to the left or the right, love? Sarah, what the fuck is it? Cock sleeve. With a Thorata. It's not fair she orders those I all the time. Down on, on the wrong answer. Hey, Victor. Hey, Victor. What the fuck is it? Cock hole opener, cock spid kit. Oh spidget. Spigot. Spigot. Spy jot. Spy. He really wants to get that coming. Spigot. Hey. I was going to say for sounding. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He should say both what? Who is this guy? <laughs> so it's like he's trying to talk to us. Yeah, but he said it's a cock hole opener. <laughs> is that not what sounding is? Isn't that like a, a fetish though? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Isn't all of it a fetish? Yes. Okay. Here's the correct answer. I win! Oh, Sarah did it. Penis enlargement. Oh. Slash. Ejaculation it's just delay. Straight up a penis sleeve. <laughs> yep. Ejaculation delay. <laughs> Isn't that what a cock ring is? Isn't that an enlargement it's delay? Ring, it's a sleeve. It is a sleeve. It says it's enlargement sleeve, delay. Oh, enlargement Fuck. Well, it's okay. It's not or a finger banger at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who said sleeve? Sarah. Sarah. Me. Two hundred points. Sarah said Sarah. sleeve. You should have gave me half. Half a point to Duff. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking technically a ring. <laughs> I'm gonna get my half fucking points with those fucking ten dollars. Just demanding them left and right. Fucker. You're gonna give it. Just because I demand five points. Like it. Uh, I live this game half point at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing the long game, man. This is I'm ready. Long, the long con. The long sleeve. I'm the tortoise. You guys are the hare. All right, folks, are you ready? He's for giving half out? pumps. Half pumps for endurance. Half stroke, half stroke all the way. Mm -hmm. Go. Oh, oh, I know what that is. All right, contestants, timer starts now. What the fuck is it? I think it's like white out. You use it to, you know, correction tape. Fancy, whatever. Fancy, schmancy, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> fancy, schmancy, Why can't it be brown out, Neil? Yeah, because it's all shiny, you know. It's like those it's, fountain pens. It's, it's, it's for James. Whatever it is, it's fancy. James Bond. It's it's schmancy. Oh. James ah, Bond. It's schmancy. Bonus five points if you all say right, fancy schmancy. Put your pants <laughs> down. Put your pants down. <laughs> I don't have pants on. Oh. If you... No camera doesn't fucking exist. Got a point. I just don't want to see that. Somebody wants to see it? Said, you guys don't. Malcolm wants to. Shut up. Well, the whole world is watching right now. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, Shante. What the fuck is it? You want me to start fighting with you? Face laser. Face laser. 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 <laughs> laser. Fucking laser beams. <laughs> I'm going to burn my face. Oh, shit. All right. All right, Duff. The what the fuck is it? Can I change my, can I change no, my answer? Yeah. Absolutely. No. Not. Okay. <laughs> Those are called bullets. Like a like the Pez cocaine dispenser. I gotta get some fucking. It's got a. Dumb, I gotta get a some, button and shoots it out. I got. I got no, get, like there's. Three, they have those here. Four, I know it's probably God, not Canadian. <laughs> right? That's what it looks like. Huh? All right, Sarah. What the fuck is it? Hair trimmer. Hair with trimmer. Light. I have light. 
Yeah, I use them for your eyebrows. Yeah, they work really good for your eyebrows. And if for your you nose? have mustache. Eyebrows. You heard it here, folks. It's good for your mustache. Lip hair. For your below eyebrow. Hey, Victor. For your below lips. For your lower brows. For your lower <laughs> lips. Lightsaber. Oh. Nice. Light sabor. It is a laser of sort. It is not a light sabor. Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> it's a trimmer. It okay, dispenser. Ladies, electric eyebrow shaver. It's not even that. I have one. See the light? Sure. Do you want a fucking cookie, Sarah? <laughs> I already had like three things. <laughs> Ten points all around. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, no, Malcolm, I actually got it right. Oh, plus 50 for Sarah. I you're, right. you're, like that, you. you're like that A plus student that's like, oh, I know the answer. I know the answer. Yes, I am. And you're you, welcome. You get it. That is, they're the exact same person. This is why Shantae is getting so pissed off with me. Pick on Sarah. No, that's because she's our Sarah. I thought she was rolling her eyes at me. No, it's always me. It's Malcolm. I feel it in my soul when those eyes roll. I can change. I, Whoa! I can, I can change. I can change. I can do better. I'm ready to win some more. Are you nice to her? Yeah, I'm gonna be fucking mean as shit to you. Why? <laughs> All right, folks. Good. This next round is for None of it's good. It's one thousand points. Ooh, I'm gonna win. Sorry, I'm gonna stop. When, when it's double jeopardy. All together. Okay. There we go. Ready? Oh. <gasps> what the fuck? Wow. That's. Oh wow. That's interesting. Okay. Well then, <laughs> I am um, even steeped. <laughs> all right, let's get some music. <laughs> Contestants, what the fuck is it? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's an iron thing. <laughs> it's like a. <laughs> it's like a saddle. Your underwear. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Scooper. I don't even know what it is. It's a scooper. He just found some random on weight and this drunk ass was like, Eggnog took me to this. This looks cool. Eggnog took me to this. All right. Ready? One second. This feels COVID related. <laughs> Isn't all of this COVID related? I think so. All right, Shante, what the fuck is it? Handheld vagina hair shaver stencil. Nice. <laughs> so you can put some stencils down. Beautiful. Oh, that's a good one, Shante. I didn't even nice. see that. All right. You own one, don't you? No, no, I don't. I mean, look at look at Chris's mustache. It's got to be from that. <laughs> Duff? That's me. What the fuck is it? I'm the handheld. Okay. Oh, hey, Duffalophagus. I'm the fucking hand. <laughs> Duffalophagus, man. You said peewee. Sarah, what the fuck is it? It's a hand strengthener. <laughs> with several. <laughs> what? Hey, Victor. What the fuck is it? Victor said she wee. She wee? No, hey, I have hey, one. Chris? Hey, Chris? <laughs> Sarah's like, no, I have one. That's not it. I do. I mean, it looks like it. <laughs> That's what I sort of thought. Look, right. remember, I showed you guys. I and, still have and some that, ink that purple thing on the bottom just to like hold it so you don't have to get like pee on your hand or something. No, I have one. Look, it's right here. All right. <laughs> Did you wash it? Well, I've never used them. <laughs> Smell it. Like I was showing them. Smell it. Bikini, dedicated private oh! stencil. Shantae, oh, you got Shantae it. With a... Okay, you're going to have to explain not... it to us. How does it work? We're not worthy. You just shave around it. We're not worthy. Oh, okay, so it's like, okay. 
Oh, that's a handle. Yeah. yeah. So do you yeah. insert that then or what? No. You just <laughs> chain around it. So you like <laughs> you hold it. Like a stencil and you put yeah. yeah. <laughs> this part here is what gives you the shape of the bush, right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That's the handle. You so, put it over. Do you put like is there a chalk line around that or what? <laughs> I feel like you, you gotta lick this to lube it up. So it stays in place, right? <laughs> yeah, well, no, like you just hold it and shave everywhere else real quick. I don't know. <laughs> or near the hair everywhere else. Theoretically, that's, enough. that's where your bikini line is going to be, right? That's true. That, that's, that's I don't even problem. have one. Your bikini line is where, like, if you're wearing a bikini, you know, there's like spider legs. The hair sticks out. out. You would yeah. shave that area so spider legs don't hang out. Yeah, that would be right. like that, better, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As in that. Uh, Call whips. Your no no area, Neil. So that's the, the hard. <laughs> Call whips. The landing strip and then uh, whatever the that is. The uh, Hitler. The V. So you get the Beetlejuice hair coming out the side. Like a million. Oh, a million points for Shante. All right. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. A million? That's right. I'm never going to catch up to that. We're not worthy. Never say never. <laughs> You're not gonna with that attitude. <laughs> I, I mean, you might not anyway, but like more so with the, with that attitude. That was funny, Neil. All right, we're waiting. I honestly thought that one part yeah. was the answer. Let's cover the score again, shall we? No, I don't want to know. I'm still winning. So we have in the lead, Shanti with a million and one hundred and twenty-six points and a half. <laughs> And then we have Sora with 140 points. You're it's in the Sora. Be happy. And then She's we so Sora. With 122 and a half points. And then we have Chris with also 122 and a half points. And then we have Malcolm with 10 points. <laughs> and then there's my dumbass with negative 409. 4,990 points. Another minus 50. They don't require math skills with tables or what, bro? Like, <laughs> I don't even care at this point. <laughs> Remember, folks, me too. Mean nothing. Me too. I want a million points. At the end of the game, everybody gets a consolation prize. Yeah, you'll get a pat on the back. I oh, I'd like to fucking see that happen. A five-minute pat on the back. A very <laughs> awkward, slow pat on the back. <laughs> but, like, win. Because I touch myself. <laughs> it's okay, folks, because this is the last round. Ooh. Oh, boo. I wish I had a boo. Oh, hey, windmill time. Windmill? What's a windmill? It's a guy thing. That is too much. I thought that was the helicopter. It's waterfall. No. <laughs> uh, helicopter. You guys need to have a donut stacking rate. <laughs> I still only have half a donut. Yeah, <laughs> At least you don't have a done a hole. Yeah, that's true. Ten bits. I call them ten bits here. You call them gin bits? Ten bits. Because Tim Hortons. Timmy hoes. I we don't have those. Or Timmy hoes. They got Duncan oh, Sarah, Donuts, Baskin Robbins. Oh, no. Fucking Krispy Kremes down there. Down there. Down there. Right down there, down there. Got an egg now, Gloria. Big old dang old, big old dang, dang, dang old, big old. One hour. I'm almost done. That's okay. This is the last round. This one Ooh. is for all the potatoes. Got any tomatoes? All the tomatoes. All the tamales. I don't. Victor, you have one of those nose hair shavers. Let me 
shave my nose right now with those sharpie. <laughs> Mine's through my ear. Show of hands, who shaves their ear holes? Nobody? The wife plucks mine. No? She plucks them while you're sleeping? No, she gets right in there. That's, that's love, man. I like to imagine what people say or look like when they look at my ear holes and see a bush. When, when my wife plucks my ear hole, I feel like we're the primates. I feel like a million dollars when that happens. I feel like a new man. Seriously, 100%. I just want to, like, throw my arms in the air, walk around, and throw shit around when she does it. Is anyone <laughs> watching? Who oh, yeah. cares? Laura's here? I, 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 yeah. Hi, Laura. Hi, it's me. Love you, Laura. I don't even know you, but I love you. <laughs> Watch out, she's drunk. <laughs> Laura's drunk? Well, probably because she sells eggnog at her fine establishment. She's a young girl. She should be. She says you can get fucking smashed when she got home. All right, folks. Are you ready? This is the last round. This is for all the potatoes. All the marbles? All the marbles. All the tamales. Is it all or nothing? What? All the is it all or nothing? All or nothing. Wow. All Something the gringos. That's right. I'm not <laughs> Don't up to this. <laughs> So none of those points that you've collected right now matter. Uh, this okay, don't mean shit. Come on with your friends. This is how I love a game. Okay, I love you. Nice. Right. Much like your high school SAT, it don't mean shit. There was no twist. <laughs> he was very <laughs> truthful. One hundred percent honest. Our this game is about as big a disappointment as I am. Your mom. <laughs> I mean, my mom thinks I'm a disappointment. Oh, no, she it. doesn't. You're, you're about as much of a disappointment as Shantae thinks you are. That's true. <laughs> hey, I just gave her a million points. I don't. I want a million points. <laughs> See, I am right. All right, folks, are you ready? This is a tough one. Huh. This is for all the marbles. Is it all the all the marbles? Yes. But we marbles. should have got some suspenseful music for this one, but that's okay. Yeah. We should have got some marbles that's for this one. one. Yeah, I should have gave a bag of marbles. We'll get a bigger soundboard next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, folks, if you can donate to our podcast, we can get a bigger soundboard. <laughs> we'll enhance your um, COVID hanging out with your drunken friends experience. That's right. Right. Tune in with us. Zoom. Join us on the future episodes of Death Please Network. Join us via Zoom like Victor here. That's right, Victor. Thank you very much, Victor, for jumping in. Right. All right, folks, are you ready? Here you go. Have a look. <gasps> oh, shit. I'm, not bad. I'm lost. All right, young Neil, start that clock. So, I'm just going to get it out of the way. It's, it doesn't look like a dildo to me, but I mean... It's Wish. I wouldn't rule that out. <laughs> so, I'm going to say it's one rock of crack cocaine. That is a big rock. Yeah, one big rock. It's not purified because it's not blue. <laughs> is, it, is it Moroccan? Hasn't been stepped on. It's Himalayan. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> That's what they call it. That's what they call it in the Himalayas. In the Himalayas. But they just call it the crack yeah. rock. Himalayas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. <laughs> Something about Tibet. Before we go around the table, I would like to thank everybody for taking part in this game show today. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. I, uh, I would like, first and foremost, thank our fucking host and the sound guy, Dr. Young Neil. <laughs> and Dr. Neil. And Mr. Campbell. <laughs> For hosting our asses on this <laughs> retarded journey of beautiful. This big that like that we're not going to get back <laughs> ever again. <laughs> At least I can say we had a laugh. We did. I want to thank you for bringing me down this rabbit hole. Moments. That's right. 
I feel work. better. All right. Here we go. Ready? Shante, what the fuck is it? White girl power beacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's a win. Is that like the That's equivalent? a good one. Yes. <laughs> White power. And girls from all over come with essential oils to save your ass. <laughs> White flower. <laughs> that was a good one. I love that. Beautiful. Five million points. Oh, oh shit. I'm fucking killing it. Duff. What the fuck is it? I'm a lame and salt. I'm in lame and salt. <laughs> I'm in lame and salt. <laughs> so, <laughs> five million points for being creative. Thank you. All right. Sarah, what the fuck is it? Man, I like I like Shantae's answer because it's funny. I just was like, right. Rose quartz crystal. <laughs> <sighs> We know who our essential oilist is. I was going to put that because I couldn't remember what it was. Five million points to Sarah for the. Leave Brittany alone. <laughs> hey, Victor. What the fuck is it? Homo lion salt rock. <laughs> homo habilis salt rock? Homo habilis? <laughs> no homo, but the habilis. <laughs> All right. Booyakasha. <laughs> Thank you for playing. What the fuck is it? The game show where everybody wins. <laughs> Are you ready for the right answer? Yes, please. Neil, come in. I already gave it to you. A colossal waste of money. Yeah. I see Rose Court. All right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in tonight on this lovely episode of FS Network. Thank you to all my lovely co hosts tonight. Hey, Duff, Hello. Hello. Neil, Sarah, Yay. yours truly. Thank you, Victor, for stopping in and joining us tonight. It's been real. Living. Everybody's a winner. We all get participation ribbons and shit, <laughs> maybe a trophy or something. Shaped like a crack rock. A Himalayan mm -hmm. crack rock. That's expensive. Right, you can kill the music. Uh. Okay. Thank you very much for that big waste of time. Hey, it was a pleasure. Thanks for stopping in and joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all two of our viewers out there. Much appreciated. Hey, so Everybody else is a bunch of losers. Hell, I mean, it is Friday night, Friday the 15th. Maybe, yeah. maybe nobody wanted to tune in. Hopefully I'm none like, of you are trying to, you know, invoke the spirit of Jason in, in, in killing you by, you know... Going to Crystal Lake. Jason you, where are you going with this? Exactly. I, I'm going with, <laughs> be safe out there. Don't have sex. Don't have, no. don't have premarital sex because Jason and will Crystal kill Lake. your ass. Make sure you're married. No problem. No, why are saying. you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> Jason Voorhees loves us. Jason Voorhees. Uh, I like that. Okay, what would Jason least, Voorhees do? At the very least, don't have sex near a lake because then he'll come out of the lake and kill you. At the very least. At the, at the very least. least. Well, make sure you're married first. Then you'll right. be okay. Yes, get then married. Okay. Would I, recommend it. Don't be young. Post marital just, sex. Just find, Am I right? Find a friend who's. Don't who's go a, camping. Who's, uh, you know, don't want to have sex. To, officiate marriages and you'll be fine what well, Neil's you saying is yourself make sure you make sure there's an orgy going on because that's a safe don't, right. don't drink the punch people According around you to the British Colombian government they recommend a glory hole so you know if at all <laughs> possible <laughs> to prevent the spread of COVID-19 carry a glory hole Kudo's gonna come and give you a spank and Neil mm. G. Oh, that's that's physical. L. You're gonna give me COVID. Oh, I don't want R. COVID nineteen is the new COVID. Ah, dental, dental. Are you spelling yellow. Glory. Is, uh, damn. Neil's on a roll. Dental, dental damn. damn. Dental damn. Dental damn. <laughs> What's that something? All right, about? folks. All right. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Um, Tuning. That's right. Go for it. Tuning in. Tuning. That's what you right. do. Laura, Laura, Laura said that she loves us. Oh, we love Laura. We love you too, woman. It is so, so nice. 
And I would really like to throw a big fucking thank you for Victor for yes. showing up. Yeah, it was good to have Thanks you. for hanging out with us, dude. I like that he sounds like Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Not Bill Murray, but Garfield. Thank you. Yeah, it's a very specific set of talents. That's right. Talents, like an eagle. I perfected it my whole life, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. All right. Uh, I would just like to say thank you to everybody who showed up. Let's get Duff to close uh, us out here. And this has been a lovely Friday the 13th episode of F This. Episode uh, 16. Episode 16. Uh, I'm Duff. Shante. Emilio. Sarah. iPad. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. And that fucker sitting across from me, Malcolm. Please. Bye. Be excellent to each other. Bye. Bye. It's F this. Fuck this. <laughs>